Sura 10 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Sura 10 Jonah, Yunus, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Ra. These are the verses of the wise book. What is it a wonder to the people that we reveal to a man from among themselves, saying, warn the people and give good news to those who believe that theirs is a footing of firmness with their Lord. The unbelievers say, this is most surely a manifest enchanter. Surely your Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and the earth in six periods, and he is firm in power. Regulating the affair, there is no intercessor except after his permission. This is Allah, your Lord. Therefore serve him, will you not then mine? To him is your return. Of all of you, the promise of Allah made in truth. Surely he begins the creation in the first instance. Then he reproduces it, that he may with justice recompense those who believe and do good. And as for those who disbelieve, they shall have a drink of hot water and painful punishment because they disbelieved. He it is who made the sun a shining brightness and the moon a light, and ordained for it mansions that you might know the computation of years and the reckoning. Allah did not create it, but with truth. He makes the signs manifest for a people who know. Most surely in the variation of the night and the day, and what Allah has created in the heavens and the earth, there are signs for a people who guard against evil. Surely those who do not hope in our meeting and are pleased with this world's life and are content with it, and those who are heedless of our communications. As for those, their abode is the fire because of what they earned. Surely as for those who believe and do good, their Lord will guide them by their faith. There shall flow from beneath them rivers in gardens of bliss. Their cry in it shall be, Glory to thee, O Allah, and their greeting in it shall be, Peace. And the last of their cry shall be, Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. And if Allah should hasten the evil to men as they desire, the hastening on of good, their doom should certainly have been decreed for them. But we leave those alone who hope not for our meeting in their inordency, blindly wandering on. And when affliction touches a man, he calls on us, whether lying on his side or sitting or standing. But when we remove his affliction from him, he passes on as though he had never called on us on account of an affliction that touched him. Thus that which they do is made for seeming to the extravagant. And certainly we did destroy generations before you when they were unjust, and their messengers had come to them with clear arguments. 
and they would not believe. Thus do we recompense the guilty people. Then we made you successors in the land after them, so that we may see how you act. And when our clear communications are recited to them, those who hope not for our meeting say, Bring a Quran other than this or change it. Say, It does not beseem me that I should change it of myself. I follow not but what is revealed to me. Surely I fear. If I disobey my Lord, the punishment of a mighty day. Say, if Allah had desired otherwise, I would not have recited it to you, nor would he have taught it to you. Indeed, I have lived a lifetime among you before it. Do you not then understand? Who is then more unjust than who forges a lie against Allah? Or who gives the lie to his communications? Surely the guilty shall not be successful. And they serve beside Allah what can neither harm them nor profit them. And they say, these are our intercessors with Allah. Say, do you presume to inform Allah of what he knows? Not in the heavens and the earth. Glory be to him, and supremely exalted is he, above what they set up with him. And people are not but a single nation, so they disagree. And had not a word already gone forth from your Lord, the matter would have certainly been decided between them, in respect of that concerning which they disagree. And they say, Why is not a sign sent to him from his Lord? Say, The unseen is only for Allah. Therefore, wait. Surely I too with you am of those who wait. And when we make people taste of mercy after an affliction touches them, lo, they devise plans against our communication. Say, Allah is quicker to plan. Surely our messengers write down what you plan. He it is who makes you travel by land and sea until when you are in the ships, and they sail on with them in a pleasant breeze, and they rejoice. A violent wind overtakes them, and the billows surge in on them from all sides, and they become certain that they are encompassed about. They pray to Allah, being sincere to him in obedience. If thou dost deliver us from this, we will most certainly be of the grateful ones. But when he delivers them, lo, they are unjustly rebellious in the earth. O men, your rebellion is against your own souls, provision only of this world's life. Then to us shall be your return, so we will inform you of what you did. The likeness of this world's life is only as water, which we send down from the cloud, then the herbage of the earth of which men and cattle eat, grows luxuriantly thereby, until when the earth puts on its golden raiment, and it becomes garnished, and its people think that they have power over it, our command comes to it by night or by day. So we render it as reaped seed, produce as though it had not been in existence yesterday. 
Thus do we make clear the communications for a people who reflect, and Allah invites to the abode of peace and guides whom he pleases into the right path. For those who do good is good reward, and more than this, and blackness or ignominy shall not cover their faces. These are the dwellers of the garden. In it they shall abide. And as for those who have earned evil, the punishment of an evil is the like of it, and abasement shall come upon them. They shall have none to protect them from Allah, as if their faces had been covered with slices of the dense darkness of night. These are the inmates of the fire, in it they shall abide. And on the day when we will gather them all together, then we will say to those who associated others with Allah, keep where you are, you and your associates. Then we shall separate them widely, one from another, and their associates would say, it was not us that you served. Therefore, Allah is sufficient as a witness between us and you that we were quite unaware of your serving us. There shall every soul become acquainted with what it sent before, and they shall be brought back to Allah, their true patron, and what they devised shall escape from them. Say, who gives you sustenance from the heaven and the earth? Or who controls the hearing and the sight? And who brings forth the living from the dead? And brings forth the dead from the living? And who regulates the affairs? Then they will say, Allah. Say then, Will you not then guard against evil? This then is Allah, your true Lord. And what is there after the truth but error? How are you then turned back? Thus does the word of your Lord prove true against those who transgress that they do not believe. Say, is there anyone among your associates who can bring into existence the creation in the first instance? Then reproduce it. See, Allah brings the creation into existence. Then he reproduces it. How are you then turned away? See, is there any of your associates who guides to the truth? Say, Allah guides to the truth. Is he then who guides to the truth more worthy to be followed or he who himself does not go aright unless he is guided? What then is the matter with you? How do you judge? And most of them do not follow anything but conjecture. Surely conjecture will not avail aught against the truth. Surely Allah is cognizant of what they do. And this Quran is not such as could be forged by those besides Allah, but it is a verification of that which is before it and the clear explanation of the book. There is no doubt in it from the Lord of the worlds. Or do they say, he has forged it. Say, then bring a chapter like this and invite whom you can besides Allah if you are truthful. Nay, they reject that of which they have no comprehensive knowledge, and the final sequel of it has not yet come to them. Even thus did those before them reject the truth, See then what was the end of the unjust, and of them is he who believes in it, 
and of them is he who does not believe in it. And your Lord best knows the mischief makers. And if they call you a liar, say, my work is for me and your work for you. You are clear of what I do and I am clear of what you do. And there are those of them who hear you. But can you make the deaf to hear? Though they will not understand. And there are those of them who look at you. But can you show the way to the blind though they will not see? Surely Allah does not do any injustice to men, but men are unjust to themselves. And on the day when he will gather them as though they had not stayed but an hour of the day, they will know each other. They will perish indeed who called the meeting with Allah to be a lie, and they are not followers of the right direction. And if we show you something of what we threaten them with, or cause you to die, yet to us is their return. And Allah is the bearer of witness to what they do. And every nation had a messenger. So when their messenger came, the matter was decided between them with justice, and they shall not be dealt with unjustly. And they say, when will this threat come about, if you are truthful? Say, I do not control for myself any harm or any benefit except what Allah pleases. Every nation has a term. When their term comes, they shall not then remain behind for an hour, nor can they go before their time. Say, tell me if his punishment overtakes you by night or by day. What then is there of it that the guilty would hasten on? And when it comes to pass, will you believe in it? What? Now you believe, and already you wished to have it hastened on. Then it shall be said to those who were unjust, Taste abiding chastisement. You are not requited except for what you earned. And they ask you, Is that true? Say, I by my Lord, it is most surely the truth and you will not escape. And if every soul that has done injustice had all that is in the earth, it would offer it for ransom, and they will manifest regret when they see the chastisement, and the matter shall be decided between them with justice, and they shall not be dealt with unjustly. Now surely Allah's is what is in the heavens and the earth. Now surely Allah's promise is true, but most of them do not know. He gives life and causes death, and to him you shall be brought back. O men, there has come to you indeed an admonition from your Lord and a healing for what is in the breasts and a guidance and a mercy for the believers. Say, in the grace of Allah and in his mercy, in that they should rejoice. It is better than that which they gather. Say, tell me what Allah has sent down for you of sustenance. Then you make a part of it unlawful and a part lawful. Say, has Allah commanded you, or do you forge a lie against Allah? And what will be the thought of those who forge lies against Allah on the day of resurrection? Most surely Allah is the Lord of grace towards men, but most of them do not give thanks. And you are not engaged in any affair, 
nor do you recite concerning it any portion of the Quran, nor do you do any work, but we are witnesses over you when you enter into it. And there does not lie concealed from your Lord the weight of an atom in the earth or in the heaven, nor anything less than that nor greater, but it is in a clear book. Now surely the friends of Allah, they shall have no fear nor shall they grieve. Those who believe and guarded against evil, they shall have good news in this world's life and in the hereafter. There is no changing the words of Allah. That is the mighty achievement. And let not their speech grieve you. Surely might is holy Allah's. He is the hearing, the knowing. Now surely whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth is Allah's. And they do not really follow any associates who call on others besides Allah. They do not follow anything but conjunctures and they only lie. He it is who made for you the night that you might rest in it and the day giving light. Most surely there are signs in it for a people who would hear. They say Allah has taken a son to himself. Glory be to him. He is the self-sufficient. His is what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. You have no authority for this. Do you say against Allah what you do not know? Say, those who forge a lie against Allah shall not be successful. It is only a provision in this world. Then to us shall be their return. Then we shall make them taste severe punishment because they disbelieved. And recite to them the story of Nuh when he said to his people, O oh my people, if my stay and my reminding you by the communications of Allah is hard on you, yet on Allah do I rely. Then resolve upon your affair and gather your associates. Then let not your affair remain dubious to you. Then have it executed against me and give me no respite. But if you turn back, I did not ask for any reward from you. My reward is only with Allah, and I am commanded that I should be of those who submit. But they rejected him, so we delivered him and those with him in the ark, and we made them rulers and drowned those who rejected our communications. See then what was the end of the people warned. Then did we raise up after him messengers to their people, so they came to them with clear arguments, but they would not believe in what they had rejected before. Thus it is that we set seals upon the hearts of those who exceed the limits. Then did we send up after them Musa and Harun to Pharaoh and his chiefs with our signs. But they showed pride and they were a guilty people. So when the truth came to them from us, they said, This is most surely clear enchantment. Musa said, do you say this of the truth when it has come to you? Is it magic? And the magicians are not successful. They said, have you come to us to turn us away from what we found our fathers upon? And that greatness in the land should be for you too. And we are not going to believe in you. And Pharaoh said, 
Bring to me every skillful magician. And when the magicians came, Musa said to them, Cast down what you have to cast. So when they cast down, Musa said to them, What you have brought is deception. Surely Allah will make it note. Surely Allah does not make the work of mischief makers to thrive. And Allah will show the truth to be the truth by his words, though the guilty may be averse to it. But none believed in Musa except the offspring of his people on account of the fear of Pharaoh and their chiefs, lest he should persecute them. And most surely Pharaoh was lofty in the land, and most surely he was of the extravagant. And Musa said, O my people, if you believe in Allah, then rely on him alone. If you submit to Allah, so they said, On Allah we rely. O our Lord, make us not subject to the persecution of the unjust people, and do thou deliver us by thy mercy from the unbelieving people. And we reveal to Musa and his brother, saying, Take for your people houses to abide in Egypt, and make your houses places of worship, and keep up prayer and give good news to the believers. And Musa said, Our Lord, surely thou hast given to Pharaoh and his chiefs finery and riches in this world's life. To this end, our Lord, that they lead people astray from thy way. Our Lord, destroy their riches and harden their hearts so that they believe not until they see the painful punishment. He said, The prayer of you both has indeed been accepted. Therefore, continue in the right way and do not follow the path of those who do not know. And we made the children of Israel to pass through the sea. Then Pharaoh and his host followed them for oppression and tyranny. Until when drowning overtook him, he said, I believe that there is no God but he in whom the children of Israel believe, and I am of those who submit. What now? And indeed you disobeyed before, and you were of the mischief makers, but we will this day deliver you with your body that you may be assigned to those after you. And most surely the majority of the people are heedless to our communications. And certainly we lodged the children of Israel in a goodly abode, and we provided them with good things. But they did not disagree until the knowledge had come to them. Surely your Lord will judge between them on the resurrection day concerning that in which they disagreed. But if you are in doubt as to what we have revealed to you, ask those who read the book before you. Certainly the truth has come to you from your Lord. Therefore, you should not be of the disputers, and you should not be of those who reject the communications of Allah, for then you should be one of the losers. Surely those against whom the word of your Lord has proved true will not believe though every sign should come to them until they witness the painful chastisement. And wherefore was there not a town which should believe so that their belief should have profited them, but the people of Eunice, when they believed, we removed from them the chastisement of disgrace in this world's life 
and we gave them provision till a time. And if your Lord had pleased, surely all those who are in the earth would have believed, all of them. Will you then force men till they become believers? And it is not for a soul to believe except by Allah's permission. And he casts uncleanness on those who will not understand. Say, consider what is it that is in the heavens and the earth. And signs and warners do not avail a people who would not believe. What do they wait for then but the like of the days of those who passed away before them? Say, wait then, surely I too am with you of those who wait. Then we deliver our messengers and those who believe. Even so now it is binding on us that we deliver the believers. Say, O oh people, if you are in doubt as to my religion, then know that I do not serve those whom you serve besides Allah, but I do serve Allah who will cause you to die, and I am commanded that I should be of the believers, and that you should keep your course towards the religion uprightly and you should not be of the polytheists. And do not call besides Allah on that which can neither benefit you nor harm you. For if you do then, surely you will in that case be of the unjust. And if Allah should afflict you with harm, then there is none to remove it but he. And if he intends good to you, there is none to repel his grace. He brings it to whom he pleases of his servants, and he is the forgiving, the merciful. Say, O people, indeed there has come to you the truth from your Lord. Therefore, whoever goes aright, he goes aright, only for the good of his own soul. And whoever goes astray, he goes astray only to the detriment of it. And I am not a custodian over you. And follow what is revealed to you and be patient till Allah should give judgment. And he is the best of the judges. End of Surah 10 Surah 11 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 11, Hud, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Ra. This is a book whose verses are made decisive, then are they made plain, from the wise all aware, that you shall not serve any but Allah. Surely I am a warner for you from him, and a giver of good news. And you that ask forgiveness of your Lord, then turn to him. He will provide you with a goodly provision to an appointed term and bestow his grace on everyone endowed with grace. And if you turn back, then surely I fear for you the chastisement of a great day. To Allah is your return, and he has power over all things. Now surely they fold up their breasts that they may conceal their enmity from him. Now surely when they use their garments as a covering, he knows what they conceal and what they make public. Surely he knows what is in the breasts. And there is no animal in the earth, but on Allah is the sustenance of it. And he knows its resting place 
and its depository, all things are in a manifest book. And he it is who created the heavens and the earth in six periods. And his dominion extends on the water, that he might manifest to you which of you is best in action. And if you say, surely you shall be raised up after death, those who disbelieve would certainly say, this is nothing but clear magic. And if we hold back from them the punishment until a stated period of time, they will certainly say, what prevents it? Now surely on the day when it will come to them, it shall not be averted from them, and that which they scoffed at shall beset them. And if we make man taste mercy from us, then take it off from him. Most surely he is despairing, ungrateful. And if we make him taste a favor after distress has afflicted him, he will certainly say, the evils are gone away from me. Most surely he is exulting, boasting, except those who are patient and do good. They shall have forgiveness and a great reward. Then it may be that you will give up part of what is revealed to you, and your breast will become straightened by it, because they say, Why has not a treasure been sent down upon him, or an angel come with him? You are only a warner, and Allah is custodian over all things. Or do they say he has forged it? Say, then bring ten forged chapters like it, and call upon whom you can besides Allah, if you are truthful. But if they do not answer you, then know that it is revealed by Allah's knowledge and that there is no God but he, will you then submit? Whoever desires this world's life and its finery, we will pay them in full their deeds therein, and they shall not be made to suffer loss in respect of them. These are they for whom there is nothing but fire in the hereafter, and what they wrote in it shall go for nothing, and vain is what they do. Is he then who has with him clear proof from his Lord, and a witness from him, recites it, and before it is the book of Musa, a guide and a mercy, these believe in it, and whoever of the different parties disbelieves in it, Surely it is the truth from your Lord, but most men do not believe. And who is more unjust than he who forges a lie against Allah? These shall be brought before their Lord, and the witnesses shall say, These are they who lied against their Lord. Now surely the curse of Allah is on the unjust who turn away from the path of Allah and desire to make it crooked, and they are disbelievers in the hereafter. These shall not escape in the earth, nor shall they have any guardians besides Allah. The punishment shall be doubled for them. They could not bear to hear, and they did not see. These are they who have lost their souls, and what they forged is gone from them. Truly in the hereafter they are the greatest losers. Surely as to those who believe and do good and humble themselves to their Lord, these are the dwellers of the garden, in it they will abide. The likeness of the two parties is as the blind and the deaf, and the seeing and the hearing. Are they equal in condition? Will you not then mind? And certainly we sent Nuh to his people 
Surely I am a plain warner for you that you shall not serve any but Allah. Surely I fear for you the punishment of a painful day. But the chiefs of those who disbelieved from among his people said, We do not consider you but a mortal like ourselves, and we do not see any have followed you but those who are the meanest of us at first thought, and we do not see in you any excellence over us, nay, we deem you liars. He said, O my people, tell me if I have with me clear proof from my Lord, and he has granted me mercy from himself, and it has been made obscure to you. Shall we constrain you to accept it while you are averse from it? And, O oh my people, I ask you not for wealth in return for it. My reward is only with Allah, and I am not going to drive away those who believe. Surely they shall meet their Lord, but I consider you a people who are ignorant. And O oh my people, who will help me against Allah if I drive them away, will you not then mind? And I do not say to you that I have the treasures of Allah and I do not know the unseen, nor do I say that I am an angel, nor do I say about those whom your eyes hold in mean estimation that Allah will never grant them any good. Allah knows best what is in their souls, for then most surely I should be of the unjust. They said, O Nuh, indeed you have disputed with us and lengthened dispute with us. Therefore bring to us what you threaten us with, if you are of the truthful ones. He said, Allah only will bring it to you if he please, and you will not escape. And if I intend to give you good advice, my advice will not profit you if Allah intended that he should leave you to go astray. He is your Lord, and to him shall you be returned. Or do they say he has forged it? Say, if I have forged it, on me is my guilt, and I am clear of that of which you are guilty. And it was revealed to Nuh that none of your people will believe except those who have already believed. Therefore do not grieve at what they do, and make the ark before our eyes, and according to our revelation, and do not speak to me in respect of those who are unjust. Surely they shall be drowned. And he began to make the ark, and whenever the sheaves from among his people passed by him, they laughed at him. He said, If you laugh at us, surely we too laugh at you as you laugh at us. So shall you know who it is on whom will come a chastisement which will disgrace him, and on whom will lasting chastisement come down. Until when our command came and water came forth from the valley, we said, Carry in it two of all things, a pair, and your own family, except those against whom the word has already gone forth. And those who believe, and there believed not with him but a few. And he said, Embark in it, in the name of Allah be its sailing and its anchoring. Most surely my Lord is forgiving, merciful. And it moved on with them amid waves like mountains. And Nuh called out to his son, and he was aloof, O my son, Embark with us and be not with the unbelievers. He said, I will betake myself for refuge to a mountain that shall protect me from the water. Nuh said, 
There is no protector today from Allah's punishment, but he who has mercy and the wave intervened between them, so he was of the drowned. And it was said, O earth, swallow down your water, and O cloud, clear away. And the water was made to abate, and the affair was decided. And the ark rested on the Judy, and it was said, Away with the unjust people. And Nuh cried out to his Lord and said, My Lord, surely my son is of my family, and thy promise is surely true, and thou art the most just of the judges. He said, O Nuh, surely he is not of your family. Surely he is the doer of other than good deeds. Therefore, ask not of me that of which you have no knowledge. Surely I admonish you, lest you may be of the ignorant. He said, My Lord, I seek refuge in thee from asking thee that of which I have no knowledge. And if thou shouldest not forgive me and have mercy on me, I should be of the losers. It was said, O Nuh, descend with peace from us and blessings on you and on the people from among those who are with you. And there shall be nations whom we will afford the provisions. Then a painful punishment from us shall afflict them. These are announcements relating to the unseen, which we reveal to you. You did not know them, neither you nor your people before this. Therefore be patient. Surely the end is for those who guard against evil. And to add, we sent their brotherhood. He said, O my people, serve Allah. You have no God other than he. You are nothing but forgers of lies. O my people, I do not ask of you any reward for it. My reward is only with him who created me. Do you not then understand? And O my people, ask forgiveness of your Lord, then turn to him. He will send on you clouds pouring down abundance of rain and add strength to your strength and do not turn back guilty. They said, O Hood, you have not brought to us any clear argument and we are not going to desert our gods for your word and we are not believers in you. We cannot say aught, but that some of our gods have smitten you with evil. He said, Surely I call Allah to witness, and do you bear witness too, that I am clear of what you associate with Allah. Besides him, therefore scheme against me altogether, then give me no respite. Surely I rely on Allah my Lord and your Lord. There is no living creature, but he holds it by its forelock. Surely my Lord is on the right path. But if you turn back, then indeed I have delivered to you the message with which I have been sent to you. And my Lord will bring another people in your place, and you cannot do him any harm. Surely my Lord is the preserver of all things. And when our decree came to pass, we delivered Hud and those who believed with him with mercy from us, and we delivered them from a hard chastisement. And this was Aid. They denied the communications of their Lord and disobeyed his messengers and followed the bidding of every insolent opposer of truth. And they were overtaken by curse in this world and on the resurrection day. Now surely Aad disbelieved in their Lord. Now surely away with Aad, the people of Hud. And to Samud we sent their brother Saleh. 
He said, O oh my people, serve Allah. You have no God other than he. He brought you into being from the earth and made you dwell in it. Therefore, ask forgiveness of him. Then turn to him. Surely my Lord is nigh answering. They said, O oh Saleh, Surely you were one amongst us in whom great expectations were placed before this. Do you now forbid us from worshipping what our fathers worshipped? And as to that which you call us to, most surely we are in disquieting doubt. He said, O oh my people, tell me if I have clear proof from my Lord and he has granted to me mercy from himself. Who will then help me against Allah if I disobey him? Therefore you do not add to me other than loss. And, O oh my people, this will be as Allah's she camel for you, a sign. Therefore leave her to pasture on Allah's earth, and do not touch her with evil, for then a near chastisement will overtake you. But they slew her. So he said, Enjoy yourselves in your abode for three days. That is a promise not to be belied. So when our decree came to pass, we delivered Saleh and those who believed with him by mercy from us, and we saved them from the disgrace of that day. Surely your Lord is the strong, the mighty. And the rumbling overtook those who were unjust. So they became motionless bodies in their abodes, as though they had never dwelt in them. Now surely did Samud disbelieve in their Lord. Now surely away with Samud. And certainly our messengers came to Ibrahim with good news. They said, Peace. Peace, said he, and he made no delay in bringing a roasted calf. But when he saw that their hands were not extended towards it, he deemed them strange and conceived the fear of them. They said, Fear not. Surely we are sent to Lot's people. And his wife was standing by, so she laughed then. We gave her the good news of Ishaq, and after Ishaq of a son's son Yaqub. She said, O oh wonder, shall I bear a son when I am an extremely old woman, and this my husband an extremely old man? Most surely this is a wonderful thing. They said, Do you wonder at Allah's bidding? The mercy of Allah and his blessings are on you. O people of the house, surely he is praised glorious. So when fear had gone away from Ibrahim and good news came to him, he began to plead with us for Lot's people. Most surely Ibrahim was forbearing, tender-hearted, oft returning to Allah. O Ibrahim, leave off this. Surely the decree of your Lord has come to pass, and surely there must come to them a chastisement that cannot be averted. And when our messengers came to Lut, he was grieved for them, and he lacked the strength to protect them, and said, This is a hard day. And his people came to him, as if rushed on towards him, and already they did evil deeds. He said, O oh my people, these are my daughters, they are purer for you, so guard against the punishment of Allah, and do not disgrace me with regard to my guests. Is there not among you one right-minded man? They said, Certainly you know that we have no claim on your daughters, and most surely you know what we desire. 
He said, ah, that I had power to suppress you. Rather, I shall have recourse to a strong support. They said, O Lut, we are the messengers of your Lord. They shall by no means reach you. So remove your followers in a part of the night and let none of you turn back except your wife, for surely whatsoever befalls them shall befall her. Surely their appointed time is the morning. Is not the morning nigh? So when our decree came to pass, we turned them upside down and rained down upon them stones of what had been decreed one after another, marked for punishment with your Lord, and it is not far off from the unjust. And to Majin, we sent their brother Shu'aib. He said, O oh my people, serve Allah. You have no God other than he, and do not give short measure and wait. Surely I see you in prosperity, and surely I fear for you the punishment of an all-encompassing day. And O oh my people, give full measure and wait fairly, and defraud not men their things, and do not act corruptly in the land, making mischief. What remains with Allah is better for you if you are believers, and I am not a keeper over you. They said, O oh, Shu'aib, does your prayer enjoin you that we should forsake what our fathers worshipped, or that we should not do what we please with regard to our property? Forsooth, you are the forbearing, the right directing one. He said, O oh, my people, have you considered if I have a clear proof from my Lord, and he has given me a goodly sustenance from himself, and I do not desire that in opposition to you I should betake myself to that which I forbid you. I desire nothing but reform so far as I am able, and with none but Allah is the direction of my affair to a right issue. On him do I rely, and to him do I turn. And, O oh my people, let not opposition to me make you guilty, so that there may befall you the like of what befell the people of Nuh, or the people of Hud, or the people of Saleh, nor are the people of Lut far off from you. And ask forgiveness of your Lord, then turn to him. Surely my Lord is merciful, loving, kind. They said, O Shu'aib, we do not understand much of what you say, and most surely we see you to be weak among us. And were it not for your family, we would surely stone you, and you are not mighty against us. He said, O oh my people, is my family more esteemed by you than Allah, and you neglect him as a thing cast behind your back? Surely my Lord encompasses what you do. And, O oh my people, act according to your ability. I too am acting. You will come to know soon who it is on whom will light the punishment that will disgrace him, and who it is that is a liar. And watch, surely I too am watching with you. And when our decree came to pass, we delivered Shu'aib and those who believed with him by mercy from us. And the rebelling overtook those who were unjust, so they became motionless bodies in their abodes, as though they had never dwelt in them. Now surely perdition overtook Madian, as had perished Samud, and certainly we sent Musa with our communications and a clear authority to Pharaoh and his chiefs, but they followed the bidding of Pharaoh, and Pharaoh's bidding was not right directing.
He shall lead his people on the resurrection day and bring them down to the fire and evil the place to which they are brought. And they are overtaken by curse in this world and on the resurrection day, evil the gift which shall be given. This is an account of the fate of the towns which we relate to you. Of them are some that stand and others mourn down. And we did not do them injustice, but they were unjust to themselves. So their gods whom they called upon besides Allah did not avail them aught when the decree of your Lord came to pass, and they added but to their ruin. And such is the punishment of your Lord when he punishes the towns while they are unjust. Surely his punishment is painful, severe. Most surely there is a sign in this for him who fears the chastisement of the hereafter. This is a day on which the people shall be gathered together, and this is a day that shall be witnessed. And we do not delay it but to an appointed term. On the day when it shall come, no soul shall speak except with his permission. Then some of them shall be unhappy and others happy. So as to those who are unhappy, they shall be in the fire, for them shall be sighing and groaning in it. Abiding therein so long as the heavens and the earth endure, except as your Lord please. Surely your Lord is the mighty doer of what he intends. And as to those who are made happy, they shall be in the garden, abiding in it as long as the heavens and the earth endure, except as your Lord please a gift which shall never be cut off. Therefore be not in doubt as to what these worship. They do not worship but as their fathers worshipped before, and most surely we will pay them back in full their portion undiminished. And certainly we gave the book to Musa, but it was gone against and had not a word gone forth from your Lord. The matter would surely have been decided between them, and surely they are in a disquieting doubt about it. And your Lord will most surely pay back to all their deeds in full. Surely he is aware of what they do. Continue then in the right way as you are commanded, as also he who has turned to Allah with you, and be not inordinate. O men, surely he sees what you do. And do not incline to those who are unjust, lest the fire touch you, and you have no guardians besides Allah, then you shall not be helped. And keep up prayer in the two parts of the day, and in the first hours of the night, surely good deeds take away evil deeds. This is a reminder to the mindful. And be patient, for surely Allah does not waste the reward of the good doers. But why were there not among the generations before you those possessing understanding, who should have forbidden the making of mischief in the earth, except a few of those whom we delivered from among them. And those who were unjust went after what they are made to enjoy of plenty, and they were guilty. And it did not beseem your Lord to have destroyed the towns tyrannously while their people acted well. And if your Lord had pleased, he would certainly have made people a single nation, and they shall continue to differ, except those on whom your Lord has mercy. And for this did he create them. And the word of your Lord is fulfilled. 
Certainly I will fill hell with the jinn and the men all together. And all we relate to you of the accounts of the messengers is to strengthen your heart therewith. And in this has come to you the truth and an admonition and a reminder to the believers. And say to those who do not believe, act according to your state. Surely we too are acting. And wait, surely we are waiting also. And Allah's is the unseen in the heavens and the earth. And to him is returned the whole of the affair. Therefore serve him and rely on him. And your Lord is not heedless of what you do. End of Surah 11. Surah 12 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 12 Joseph, Yusuf Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Ra these are the verses of the book that makes things manifest. Surely we have revealed it, an Arabic Quran that you may understand. We narrate to you the best of narratives by our revealing to you this Quran, though before this you were certainly one of those who did not know. When Yusuf said to his father, O oh my father, surely I saw eleven stars and the sun and the moon, I saw them making obeisance to me. He said, O oh my son, do not relate your vision to your brothers, lest they devise a plan against you. Surely the shaitan is an open enemy to man. And thus will your Lord choose you and teach you the interpretation of sayings and make his favor complete to you and to the children of Yaqub, as he made it complete before to your fathers, Ibrahim and Ishaq. Surely your Lord is knowing wise. Certainly in Yusuf and his brothers there are signs for the inquirers. When they said, Certainly Yusuf and his brother are dearer to our father than we, though we are a stronger company, most surely our father is in manifest error. Slay Yusuf or cast him forth into some land, so that your father's regard may be exclusively for you, and after that you may be a righteous people. A speaker from among them said, Do not slay Yusuf, and cast him down into the bottom of the pit, if you must do it, so that some of the travelers may pick him up. They said, O our father, what reason have you that you do not trust in us with respect to Yusuf? And most surely we are his sincere well-wishers. Send him with us tomorrow that he may enjoy himself and sport, and surely we will guard him well. He said, Surely it grieves me that you should take him off, and I fear lest the wolf devour him while you are heedless of him. They said, Surely if the wolf should devour him, notwithstanding that we are a strong company, we should then certainly be losers. So when they had gone off, with him and agreed that they should put him down at the bottom of the pit. 
and we reveal to him, you will most certainly inform them of this their affair while they do not perceive. And they came to their father at nightfall, weeping. They said, O our father, surely we went off racing and left Yusuf by our goods. So the wolf devoured him, and you will not believe us, though we are truthful. And they brought his shirt with false blood upon it. He said, Nay, your souls have made the matter light for you, but patience is good, and Allah is he whose help is sought for against what you describe. And there came travelers, and they sent their water drawer, and he let down his bucket. He said, O oh, good news, this is a youth, and they concealed him as an article of merchandise, and Allah knew what they did, and they sold him for a small price, a few pieces of silver, and they showed no desire for him. And the Egyptian who bought him said to his wife, Give him an honorable abode. Maybe he will be useful to us, or we may adopt him as a son. And thus did we establish Yusuf in the land, and that we might teach him the interpretation of sayings, and Allah is the master of his affair. But most people do not know. And when he had attained his maturity, we gave him wisdom and knowledge. And thus do we reward those who do good. And she in whose house he was thought to make himself yield to her. And she made fast the doors and said, Come forward. He said, I seek Allah's refuge. Surely my Lord made good my abode. Surely the unjust do not prosper. And certainly she made for him, and he would have made for her, were it not that he had seen the manifest evidence of his Lord. Thus it was that we might turn away from him evil and indecency, Surely he was one of our sincere servants. And they both hastened to the door, and she rent his shirt from behind, and they met her husband at the door. She said, What is the punishment of him who intends evil to your wife, except imprisonment or a painful chastisement? He said, She sought to make me yield to her, and the witness of her own family bore witness. If his shirt is rent from front, she speaks the truth, and he is one of the liars. And if his shirt is rent from behind, she tells a lie, and he is one of the truthful. So when he saw his shirt, rent from behind, he said, Surely it is a guile of you women. Surely your guile is great. O Yusuf, turn aside from this, and O my wife, ask forgiveness for your fault. Surely you are one of the wrongdoers. And women in the city said, the chief's wife seeks her slave to yield himself to her. Surely he has affected her deeply with his love. Most surely we see her in manifest error. So when she heard of their sly talk, she sent for them and prepared for them a repast, and gave each of them a knife, and said to Yusuf, Come forth to them. So when they saw him, 
they deemed him great and cut their hands in amazement and said, Remote is Allah from imperfection. This is not a mortal. This is but a noble angel. She said, This is he with respect to whom you blamed me. And certainly I sought his yielding himself to me, but he abstained. And if he does not do what I bid him, he shall certainly be imprisoned, and he shall certainly be of those who are in a state of ignominy. He said, My lord, the prison house is dearer to me than that to which they invite me, and if thou turn not away their device from me, I will yearn towards them and become one of the ignorant. Thereupon his Lord accepted his prayer and turned away their guile from him. Surely he is the hearing, the knowing. Then it occurred to them after they had seen the signs that they should imprison him till a time. And two youth entered the prison with him. One of them said, I saw myself pressing wine, and the other said, I saw myself carrying bread on my head, of which birds ate. Inform us of its interpretation. Surely we see you to be of the doers of good. He said, There shall not come to you the food with which you are fed, but I will inform you both of its interpretation before it comes to you. This is of what my Lord has taught me. Surely I have forsaken the religion of a people who do not believe in Allah, and they are deniers of the hereafter. And I follow the religion of my fathers, Ibrahim and Ishaq and Ya'qub. It beseems us not that we should associate oath with Allah. This is by Allah's grace upon us and on mankind. But most people do not give thanks. O my two mates of the prison, are sundry lords better or Allah the one, the supreme? You do not serve besides him, but names which you have named, you and your fathers. Allah has not sent down any authority for them. Judgment is only Allah's. He has commanded that you shall not serve aught but him. This is the right religion, but most people do not know. O my two mates of the prison, as for one of you, he shall give his lord to drink wine, and as for the other, he shall be crucified, so that the birds shall eat from his head. The matter is decreed concerning which you inquired. And he said to him, whom he knew would be delivered of the two, remember me with your lord. But the shaitan caused him to forget, mentioning it to his lord, so he remained in the prison a few years. And the king said, Surely I see seven fat kine, which seven lean ones devoured, and seven green ears, and seven others dry. O sheaths, explain to me my dream. If you can interpret the dream, they said, confuse the dreams, and we do not know the interpretation of dreams. And of the two prisoners, he who had found deliverance and remembered after a long time, said, I will inform you of its interpretation, so let me go. Yusuf O truthful one, explain to us seven fat kine, which seven lean ones devoured, 
and seven green ears and seven others dry, that I may go back to the people so that they may know. He said, you shall sow for seven years continuously. Then what you reap, leave it in its ear, except a little of which you eat. Then there shall come after that seven years of hardship, which shall eat away all that you have beforehand laid up in store for them, except a little of what you shall have preserved. Then there will come after that a year in which people shall have rain and in which they shall press grapes. And the king said, Bring him to me. So when the messenger came to him, he said, Go back to your lord and ask him, What is the case of the women who cut their hands? Surely my lord knows their guile. He said, how was your affair when you sought Yusuf to yield himself to you? They said, Remote is Allah from imperfection. We knew of no evil on his part. The chief's wife said, Now has the truth become established. I sought him to yield himself to me, and he is most surely of the truthful ones. This is that he might know that I have not been unfaithful to him in secret, and that Allah does not guide the device of the unfaithful. And I do not declare myself free. Most surely man's self is wont to command him to do evil, except such as my Lord has had mercy on. Surely my Lord is forgiving, merciful. And the king said, Bring him to me. I will choose him for myself. So when he had spoken with him, he said, Surely you are in our presence today an honorable, a faithful one. He said, Place me in authority over the treasures of the land. Surely I am a good keeper, knowing well. And thus did we give to Yusuf power in the land. He had mastery in it, wherever he liked. We send down our mercy on whom we please, and we do not waste the reward of those who do good. And certainly the reward of the hereafter is much better for those who believe and guard against evil. And Yusuf's brothers came and went in to him, and he knew them, while they did not recognize him. And when he furnished them with their provision, he said, Bring to me a brother of yours from your father. Do you not see that I give full measure and that I am the best of hosts. But if you do not bring him to me, you shall have no measure of corn from me, nor shall you come near me. They said, We will strive to make his father yield in respect of him, and we are sure to do it. And he said to his servants, Put their money into their bags, that they may recognize it when they go back to their family, so that they may come back. So when they returned to their father, they said, O oh, our father, the measure is withheld from us. Therefore send with us our brother, so that we may get the measure, and we will most surely guard him. He said, I cannot trust in you, with respect to him, except as I trusted in you with respect to his brother before. But Allah is the best keeper, and he is the most merciful of the merciful ones. And when they opened their goods, they found their money returned to them. They said, O oh, our father, 
What more can we desire? This is our property returned to us, and we will bring corn for our family and guard our brother, and will have in addition the measure of a camel load. This is an easy measure. He said, I will by no means send him with you until you give me a firm covenant in Allah's name that you will most certainly bring him back to me unless you are completely surrounded. And when they gave him their covenant, he said, Allah is the one in whom trust is placed as regards what we say. And he said, O my sons, do not all enter by one gate and enter by different gates, and I cannot avail you oath against Allah. Judgment is only Allah's. On him do I rely, and on him let those who are reliant rely. And when they had entered as their father had bidden them, it did not avail them oath against Allah, but it was only a desire in the soul of Ya'qub, which he satisfied, and surely he was possessed of knowledge, because we had given him knowledge, but most people do not know. And when they went in to Yusuf, he lodged his brother with himself, saying, I am your brother therefore grieve not at what they do so when he furnished them with their provisions someone placed the drinking cup in his brother's bag then a crier cried out o caravan you are most surely thieves they said while they were facing them what is it that you miss they said, We miss the king's drinking cup, and he who shall bring it shall have a camel load, and I am responsible for it. They said, By Allah, you know for certain that we have not come to make mischief in the land, and we are not thieves. They said, But what shall be the requital of this if you are liars? They said, the requital of this is that the person in whose bag it is found shall himself be held for the satisfaction thereof. Thus do we punish the wrongdoers. So he began with their sacks before the sack of his brother. Then he brought it out from his brother's sack. Thus did we plan for the sake of Yusuf. It was not lawful that he should take his brother under the king's law unless Allah pleased. We raise the degrees of whomsoever we please, and above everyone possessed of knowledge is the all-knowing one. They said, if he steal, a brother of his did indeed steal before, but Yusuf kept it secret in his heart and did not disclose it to them. He said, you are in an evil condition and Allah knows best what you state. They said, O chief, he has a father, a very old man, therefore... Retain one of us in his stead. Surely we see you to be of the doers of good. He said, Allah protect us that we should seize other than him with whom we found our property. For then most surely we would be unjust. Then when they despaired of him, they retired, conferring privately together. The eldest of them said, Do you not know that your father took from you a covenant in Allah's name? And how you fell short of your duty with respect to Yusuf before. Therefore, I will by no means depart from this land until my father 
permits me or Allah decides for me and he is the best of the judges. Go back to your father and say, O our father, surely your son committed theft and we do not bear witness except to what we have known and we could not keep watch over the unseen and inquire in the town in which we were and the caravan with which we proceeded and most surely we are truthful he yaqub said nay your souls have made a matter light for you so patience is good maybe allah will bring them all together to me surely he is the knowing the wise and he turned away from them and said O oh, my sorrow for Yusuf. And his eyes became white on account of the grief, and he was a repressor of grief. They said, By Allah, you will not cease to remember Yusuf until you are a prey to constant disease or until you are of those who perish. He said, I only complain of my grief and sorrow to Allah. And I know from Allah what you do not know. O my sons, go and inquire respecting Yusuf and his brother, and despair not of Allah's mercy. Surely none despairs of Allah's mercy except the unbelieving people. So when they came in to him, they said, O chief, distress has afflicted us, and our family and we have brought scanty money so give us full measure and be charitable to us surely allah rewards the charitable he said do you know how you treated yusuf and his brother when you were ignorant they said are you indeed yusuf he said i am yusuf and this is my brother Allah has indeed been gracious to us. Surely he who guards against evil and is patient is rewarded for surely. Allah does not waste the reward of those who do good. They said by Allah, now has Allah certainly chosen you over us and we were certainly sinners. He said, there shall be no reproof against you this day. Allah may forgive you, and he is the most merciful of the merciful. Take this my shirt and cast it on my father's face. He will again be able to see. And come to me with all your families. And when the caravan had departed, their father said, most surely I perceive the greatness of Yusuf, unless you pronounce me to be weak in judgment. They said, by Allah, you are most surely in your old error. So when the bearer of good news came, he cast it on his face. So forthwith he regained his sight. He said, did I not say to you, that I know from Allah what you do not know. They said, O our father, ask forgiveness of our faults for us. Surely we were sinners. He said, I will ask for you forgiveness from my Lord. Surely he is the forgiving, the merciful. Then when they came into Yusuf, he took his parents to lodge with him and said, Enter safe into Egypt, if Allah please. And he raised his parents upon the throne, and they fell down in prostration before him. And he said, O oh my father, this is the significance of my vision of old. My Lord has indeed made it to be true. And he was indeed kind to me when he brought me forth from the prison and brought you 
from the desert after the shaitan had sown dissensions between me and my brothers. Surely my Lord is benignant to whom he pleases. Surely he is the knowing, the wise. My Lord, thou hast given me of the kingdom and taught me of the interpretation of sayings. Originator of the heavens and the earth, thou art my guardian in this world and the hereafter. Make me thy a Muslim and join me with the good. This is of the announcements relating to the unseen which we reveal to you, and you were not with them when they resolved upon their affair and they were devising plans. And most men will not believe though you desire it eagerly. And you do not ask them for a reward for this. It is nothing but a reminder for all mankind. And how many a sign in the heavens and the earth which they pass by, yet they turn aside from it. And most of them do not believe in Allah without associating others with him. Do they then feel secure that there may come to them an extensive chastisement from Allah or that the hour may come to them suddenly while they do not perceive? Say, this is my way. I call to Allah. I and those who follow me being certain and glory be to Allah, and I am not one of the polytheists. And we have not sent before you but men from among the people of the towns, to whom we sent revelations. Have they not then traveled in the land and seen what was the end of those before them? And certainly the abode of the hereafter is best for those who guard against evil. Do you not then understand? Until when the messengers despaired and the people became sure that they were indeed told a lie, our help came to them and whom we pleased was delivered, and our punishment is not averted from the guilty people. In their histories, there is certainly a lesson for men of understanding. It is not a narrative which could be forged, but a verification of what is before it and a distinct explanation of all things and a guide and a mercy to a people who believe. End of Surah 12Surah 13 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 13, The Thunder, Ra'an, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim, Ra. These are the verses of the book, and that which is revealed to you from your Lord is the truth, but most people do not believe. Allah is he who raised the heavens without any pillars that you see, and he is firm in power, and he made the sun and the moon subservient to you. Each one pursues its course to an appointed time. He regulates the affair, making clear the signs that you may be certain of meeting your Lord. And he it is who spread the earth and made in it firm mountains and rivers, and of all fruits he has made in it two kinds. He makes the night cover the day. Most surely there are signs in this, 
for a people who reflect. And in the earth there are tracts side by side, and gardens of grapes, and corn, and palm trees, having one root and others having distinct roots. They are watered with one water, and we make some of them excel others in fruit. Most surely there are signs in this for a people who understand. And if you would wonder, then wondrous is their saying, What? When we are dust, shall we then certainly be in a new creation? These are they who disbelieve in their Lord, and these have chains on their necks, and they are the inmates of the fire. In it they shall abide. And they ask you to hasten on the evil before the good. And indeed, there have been exemplary punishments before them. And most surely, your Lord is the Lord of forgiveness to people, notwithstanding their injustice. And most surely, your Lord is severe in requiting evil. And those who disbelieve say, Why has not a sign been sent down upon him from his Lord? You are only a warner, and there is a guide for every people. Allah knows what every female bears, and that of which the wombs fall short of completion, and that in which they increase, and there is a measure with him of everything. The knower of the unseen and the seen, the great, the most high, alike to him among you is he who conceals his words and he who speaks them openly, and he who hides himself by night and who goes forth by day. For his sake there are angels following one another, before him and behind him, who guard him by Allah's commandment. Surely Allah does not change the condition of a people until they change their own condition. And when Allah intends evil to a people, there is no averting it, and besides him they have no protector. He it is who shows you the lighting, causing fear and hope, and who brings up the heavy cloud. And the thunder declares his glory with his praise, and the angels too for awe of him. And he sends the thunderbolts and smites with them whom he pleases, yet they dispute concerning Allah. And he is mighty in prowess. To him is due the true prayer, and those whom they pray to besides Allah give them no answer, but they are like one who stretches forth his two hands towards water, that it may reach his mouth, but it will not reach it. And the prayer of the unbelievers is only in error. And whoever is in the heavens and the earth makes obeisance to Allah only, willingly and unwillingly, and their shadows too at morn and eve. Say, who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth? Say, Allah. Say, do you take then besides him guardians who do not control any profit or harm for themselves? Say, are the blind and the seeing alike, or can the darkness and the light be equal, or have they set up with Allah associates who have created creation like his, so that what is created became confused to them? Say, Allah is the creator of all things, and he is the one 
the supreme. He sends down water from the cloud, then water courses flow with water according to their measure, and the torrent bears along the swelling foam and from what they melt in the fire for the sake of making ornaments or apparatus, arises a scum like it. Thus does Allah compare truth and falsehood. Then as for the scum, it passes away as a worthless thing. And as for that which profits the people, it tears in the earth. Thus does Allah set forth parables. For those who respond to their Lord is good. And as for those who do not respond to him, had they all that is in the earth and the like thereof with it, they would certainly offer it for a ransom. As for those, an evil reckoning shall be theirs, and their abode is hell, and evil is the resting place. Is he then who knows that what has been revealed to you from your Lord is the truth, like him who is blind, only those possessed of understanding will mind. Those who fulfill the promise of Allah and do not break the covenant, and those who join that which Allah has bidden to be joined and have awe of their Lord, and fear the evil reckoning. And those who are constant, seeking the pleasure of their Lord, and keep up prayer and spend benevolently out of what we have given them, secretly and openly, and repel evil with good. As for those, they shall have the happy issue of the abode. The gardens of perpetual abode, which they will enter along with those who do good, from among their parents and their spouses and their offspring. And the angels will enter in upon them from every gate. Peace be on you, because you were constant. How excellent is then the issue of the abode. And those who break the covenant of Allah after its confirmation and cut asunder that which Allah has ordered to be joined and make mischief in the land. As for those, upon them shall be curse, and they shall have the evil issue of the abode. Allah amplifies and straightens the means of subsistence for whom he pleases, and they rejoice in this world's life, and this world's life is nothing compared with the hereafter, but a temporary enjoyment. And those who disbelieve say, why is not a sign sent down upon him by his Lord? Say, surely Allah makes him who will go astray and guides to himself those who turn to him. Those who believe and whose hearts are set at rest by the remembrance of Allah, now surely by Allah's remembrance are the hearts set at rest. As for those who believe and do good, a good final state shall be theirs and a goodly return. And thus we have sent you among a nation before which other nations have passed away, that you might recite to them what we have revealed to you, and still they deny the beneficent Allah. Say he is my Lord, there is no God but he, on him do I rely, and to him is my return. And even if there were a Quran with which the mountains were made to pass away, or the earth were traveled over with it, 
or the dead were made to speak thereby. Nay, the commandment is holy Allah's. Have not yet those who believe known that if Allah please, he would certainly guide all the people? And as for those who disbelieve, there will not cease to afflict them because of what they do a repelling calamity, or it will alight close by their abodes. Until the promise of Allah comes about, surely Allah will not fail in his promise. And messengers before you were certainly mocked at, but I gave respite to those who disbelieved. Then I destroyed them. How then was my requital of evil? Is he then who watches every soul as to what it earns, and yet they give associates to Allah? Say, give them a name. Nay, do you mean to inform him of what he does not know in the earth? Or do you affirm this by an outward saying? Rather, their plans are made to appear fair-seeming to those who disbelieve, and they are kept back from the path, and whom Allah makes err, he shall have no guide. They shall have chastisement in this world's life, and the chastisement of the hereafter is certainly more grievous, and they shall have no protector against Allah. A likeness of the garden which the righteous are promised, their flow beneath its rivers, its food and shades are perpetual. This is the requital of those who guarded against evil, and the requital of the unbelievers is the fire. And those to whom we have given the book rejoice in that which has been revealed to you. And of the confederates are some who deny a part of it. Say I am only commanded that I should serve Allah and not associate anything with him. To him do I invite you and to him is my return. And thus have we revealed it, a true judgment in Arabic. And if you follow their low desires, after what has come to you of knowledge, you shall not have against Allah any guardian or a protector. And certainly we sent messengers before you and gave them wives and children, and it is not in the power of a messenger to bring a sign except by Allah's permission. For every term there is an appointment. Allah makes to pass away and establishes what he pleases, and with him is the basis of the book. And we will either let you see part of what we threaten them with, or cause you to die, for only the delivery of the message is incumbent on you, while calling them to account is our business. Do they not see that we are bringing destruction upon the land by curtailing it of its sides? And Allah pronounces a doom. There is no repeller of his decree, and he is swift to take account. And those before them did indeed make plans, but all planning is Allah's. He knows what every soul earns, and the unbelievers shall come to know for whom is the better issue of the abode. And those who disbelieve say, you are not a messenger. Say Allah is sufficient as a witness between me and you, and whoever has knowledge of the book. End of Surah 13
of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 14, Abraham, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Ra. This is a book which we have revealed to you that you may bring forth men by their Lord's permission from utter darkness into light to the way of the mighty, the praised one. Of Allah, whose is whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth, and woe to the unbelievers on account of the severe chastisement. To those who love this world's life more than the hereafter, and turn away from Allah's path, and desire to make it crooked, these are in a great error, and we did not send any messenger but with the language of his people, so that he might explain to them clearly. Then Allah makes whom he pleases err, and he guides whom he pleases, and he is the mighty, the wise. And certainly we sent Musa with our communications, saying, Bring forth your people from utter darkness into light, and remind them of the days of Allah. Most surely there are signs in this for every patient, grateful one. And when Musa said to his people, Call to mind Allah's favor to you, when he delivered you from Pharaoh's people, who subjected you to severe torment, and slew your sons, and spared your women. And in this there was a great trial from your Lord. And when your Lord made it known, If you are grateful, I would certainly give to you more. And if you are ungrateful, my chastisement is truly severe. And Musa said, if you are ungrateful, you and those on earth all together, most surely Allah is self-sufficient, praised. Has not the account reached you of those before you, of the people of Nuh and Aad and Samud, and those after them? None knows them but Allah. Their messengers come to them with clear arguments, but they thrust their hands into their mouth and said, Surely we deny that with which you are sent, and most surely we are in serious doubt as to that to which you invite us. Their messengers said, Is there doubt about Allah, the maker of the heavens and the earth? He invites you to forgive you your faults and to respite you till an appointed term. They said, you are nothing but mortals like us. You wish to turn us away from what our fathers used to worship? Bring us, therefore, some clear authority. Their messengers said to them, We are nothing but mortals like yourselves, but Allah bestows his favors on whom he pleases, of his servants, and it is not for us that we should bring you an authority except by Allah's permission, and on Allah should the believers rely. And what reason have we that we should not rely on Allah? And he has indeed guided us in our ways, and certainly we would bear with patience your persecution of us, and on Allah should the reliant rely. And those who disbelieved said to their messengers, we will most certainly drive you forth from our land, or else you shall come back into our religion. So their Lord revealed to them, Most certainly we will destroy the unjust, and most certainly we will settle you in the land after them. This is for him who fears standing in my presence and who fears my threat. And they asked for judgment, and every insolent opposer was disappointed. Hell is before him, and he shall be given to drink of festering water. 
he will drink it little by little and will not be able to swallow it agreeably and death will come to him from every quarter but he shall not die and there shall be vehement chastisement before him the parable of those who disbelieve in their lord their actions are like ashes on which the wind blows hard on a stormy day they shall not have power over anything out of what they have earned this is the great error do you not see that allah created the heavens and the earth with truth if he please he will take you off and bring a new creation and this is not difficult for allah and they shall all come forth before allah then the weak shall say to those who were proud surely we were your followers can you therefore avert from us any part of the chastisement of allah they would say if allah had guided us we too would have guided you it is the same to us whether we are impatient now or patient there is no place for us to fly to and the shaitan shall say after the affair is decided surely allah promised you the promise of truth and i gave you promises then failed to keep them to you and i had no authority over you except that i called you and you obeyed me therefore do not blame me but blame yourselves i cannot be your aider now nor can you be my aiders surely i disbelieved in your associating me with allah before surely it is the unjust that shall have the painful punishment and those who believe and do good are made to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow to abide in them by their lord's permission their greeting therein is peace have you not considered how allah sets forth a parable of a good word being like a good tree whose root is firm and whose branches are in heaven yielding its fruit in every season by the permission of its lord and allah sets forth parables for men that they may be mindful and the parable of an evil word is as an evil tree pulled up from the earth's surface it has no stability allah confirms those who believe with the sure word in this world's life and in the hereafter and allah causes the unjust to go astray and allah does what he pleases have you not seen those who have changed allah's favor for ungratefulness and made their people to alight into the abode of perdition into hell they shall enter into it and an evil place it is to settle in and they set up equals with allah that they may lead people astray from his path say enjoy yourselves for surely your return is to the fire say to my servants who believe that they should keep up prayer and spend out of what we have given them secretly and openly before the coming of the day in which there shall be no bartering nor mutual befriending allah is he who created the heavens and the earth and sent down water from the clouds then brought forth with it fruits as a sustenance for you and he has made the ships subservient to you that they might run their course in the sea by his command and he has made the rivers subservient to you and he has made subservient to you the sun and the moon pursuing their courses and he has made subservient to you the night and the day and he gives you of all that you ask him and if you count allah's favors you will not be able to number them most surely man is very unjust very ungrateful and when ibrahim said my lord make this city secure and save me and my sons from worshipping idols my lord surely they have led many men astray then whoever follows me he is surely of me 
and whoever disobeys me, thou surely art forgiving, merciful. O our Lord, surely I have settled a part of my offspring in a valley unproductive of fruit near thy sacred house. Our Lord, that they may keep up prayer, therefore make the hearts of some people yearn towards them and provide them with fruits. Happily they may be grateful. O our Lord, surely thou knowest what we hide and what we make public, and nothing in the earth nor anything in heaven is hidden from Allah. Praise be to Allah, who has given me in old age Ismail and Ishaq. Most surely my Lord is the hearer of prayer. My Lord, make me keep up prayer, and from my offspring too. O our Lord, and accept my prayer. O our Lord, grant me protection, and my parents and the believers on the day when the reckoning shall come to pass. And do not think Allah to be heedless of what the unjust do. He only respites them to a day on which the eyes shall be fixedly open hastening forward, their heads upraised, their eyes not reverting to them, and their hearts vacant, and warn people of the day when the chastisement shall come to them, then those who were unjust will say, O our Lord, respite us to a near term, so we shall respond to thy call and follow the messengers. What? Did you not swear before that there will be no passing away for you? And you dwell in the abodes of those who were unjust to themselves, and it is clear to you how we dealt with them, and we have made them examples to you. And they have indeed planned their plan, but their plan is with Allah. Though their plan was such that the mountains should pass away thereby, Therefore do not think Allah to be one failing in his promise to his messengers. Surely Allah is mighty, the Lord of retribution. On the day when the earth shall be changed into a different earth, and the heavens as well, and they shall come forth before Allah, the One, the Supreme, and you will see the guilty on that day linked together in chains, their shirts made of pitch and the fire covering their faces that allah may requite each soul according to what it has earned surely allah is swift in reckoning this is a sufficient exposition for the people and that they may be warned thereby and that they may know that he is one allah and that those possessed of understanding may mind. End of Surah 14Surah 15, Stone Land, Al-Hijr, Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Ra These are the verses of the book and of a Quran that makes things clear. Often will those who disbelieve wish that they had been Muslims. Leave them that they may eat and enjoy themselves and that hope may beguile them, for they will soon know. And never did we destroy a town, but it had a term made known. No people can hasten on their doom, nor can they postpone it. And they say, O oh, you to whom the reminder has been revealed. You are most surely insane. Why do you not bring to us the angels if you are of the truthful ones? 
we do not send the angels but with truth, and then they would not be respited. Surely we have revealed the reminder, and we will most surely be its guardian. And certainly we sent messengers before you among the nations of yore, and there never came a messenger to them, but they mocked him. Thus do we make it to enter into the hearts of the guilty, they do not believe in it, and indeed the example of the former people has already passed, and even if we open to them a gateway of heaven, so that they ascend into it all the while, they would certainly say, only our eyes have been covered over, rather we are an enchanted people. And certainly we have made the strongholds in the heaven, and we have made it fair-seeming to the beholders, and we guard it against every accursed shaitan. But he who steals a hearing, so there follows him a visible flame. And the earth we have spread it forth and made in it fair mountains and caused to grow in it of every suitable thing. And we have made in it means of subsistence for you and for him, for whom you are not the suppliers. And there is not a thing but with us are the treasures of it and we do not send it down but in a known measure. And we send the winds fertilizing, then send down water from the cloud. So we give it to you to drink of, nor is it you who store it up. And most surely we bring to life and cause to die, and we are the heirs. And certainly we know those of you who have gone before, and we certainly know those who shall come later. And surely your Lord will gather them together. Surely he is wise knowing. And certainly we created man of clay that gives forth sound of black mud fashioned in shape, and the jinn we created before, of intensely hot fire. And when your Lord said to the angels, Surely I am going to create a mortal of the essence of black mud fashioned in shape. So when I have made him complete and breathed into him of my spirit, fall down making obeisance to him. So the angels made obeisance, all of them together. But Iblis did not. He refused to be with those who made obeisance. He said, O Iblis, what excuse have you that you are not with those who make obeisance? He said, I am not such that I should make obeisance to a mortal whom thou hast created of the essence of black mud fashioned in shape. He said, Then get out of it, for surely you are driven away. And surely on you is curse until the day of judgment. He said, My Lord, then respite me till the time when they are raised. He said, So surely you are of the respited ones till the period of the time made known. He said, My Lord, because thou hast made life evil to me, I will certainly make evil fair seeming to them on earth, and I will certainly cause them all to deviate except thy servants from among them, the devoted ones. 
He said, this is a right way with me. Surely as regards my servants, you have no authority over them, except those who follow you of the deviators. And surely hell is the promised place of them all. It has seven gates. For every gate there shall be a separate party of them. Surely those who guard against evil shall be in the midst of gardens and fountains. Enter them in peace, secure, and we will root out whatever of rancor is in their breasts. They shall be as brethren on raised couches face to face. Toil shall not afflict them in it, nor shall they be ever ejected from it. Inform my servants that I am the forgiving, the merciful, and that my punishment, that is the painful punishment, and inform them of the guests of Ibrahim. When they entered upon him, they said, Peace. He said, Surely we are afraid of you. They said, Be not afraid. Surely we give you the good news of a boy, possessing knowledge. He said, Do you give me good news of a son, when old age has come upon me? Of what then do you give me good news? They said, We give you good news with truth. Therefore be not of the despairing. He said, And who despairs of the mercy of his Lord, but the erring ones? He said, What is your business then, O messengers? They said, Surely we are sent towards a guilty people. Except Lut's followers, we will most surely deliver them all. Except his wife, we ordained that she shall surely be of those who remain behind. So when the messengers came to Lut's followers, he said, Surely you are an unknown people. They said, Nay, we have come to you with that about which they disputed. And we have come to you with the truth and we are most surely truthful. Therefore go forth with your followers in a part of the night, and yourself follow their rear, and let not any one of you turn round, and go forth whither you are commanded. And we reveal to him this decree, that the roots of these shall be cut off in the morning, and the people of the town came rejoicing. He said, Surely these are my guests, therefore do not disgrace me, and guard against the punishment of Allah, and do not put me to shame. They said, Have we not forbidden you from other people? He said, These are my daughters, if you will do oath. By your life they were blindly wandering on in their intoxication. So the rumbling overtook them while entering upon the time of sunrise. Thus did we turn it upside down, and rain down upon them stones of what had been decreed. Surely in this are signs for those who examine. And surely it is on a road that still abides. Most surely there is a sign in this for the believers. And the dwellers of the thicket also were most surely unjust. So we inflicted retribution on them. And they are both indeed on an open road still pursued. And the dwellers of the rock certainly rejected the messengers, and we gave them our communications, but they turned aside from them. 
and the huge houses in the mountains in security. So the rumbling overtook them in the morning, and what they earned did not avail them. And we did not create the heavens and the earth and what is between them too but in truth. And the hour is most surely coming. So turn away with kindly forgiveness. Surely your Lord is the creator of all things, the knowing. And certainly we have given you seven of the oft-repeated verses and the grand Quran. Do not strain your eyes after what we have given certain classes of them to enjoy, and do not grieve for them, and make yourself gentle to the believers, and say, Surely I am the plain warner, like as we sent down on the dividers, those who made the Quran into shreds, so, by your Lord, we would most certainly question them all as to what they did. Therefore, declare openly what you are bidden and turn aside from the polytheists. Surely we will suffice you against the scoffers, those who set up another God with Allah. So they shall soon know, and surely we know that your breast straightens at what they say. Therefore celebrate the praise of your Lord, and be of those who make obeisance, and serve your Lord until there comes to you that which is certain. End of Surah 15 Surah 16 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 16, the Bee, and Nahl, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Allah's commandment has come, therefore do not desire to hasten it. Glory be to him, and highly exalted be he above what they associate with him. He sends down the angels with the inspiration by his commandment on whom he pleases of his servants, saying, Give the warning that there is no God but me. Therefore, be careful of your duty to me. He created the heavens and the earth with the truth. Highly exalted be he above what they associate with him. He created man from a small seed, and lo, he is an open contender. And he created the cattle for you. You have in them warm clothing and many advantages, and of them do you eat. And there is beauty in them for you when you drive them back to home and when you send them forth to pasture. And they carry your heavy loads to regions which you could not reach but with distress of the souls. Most surely your Lord is compassionate, merciful, and he made horses and mules and asses that you might ride upon them, and as an ornament, and he creates what you do not know. And upon Allah it rests to show the right way, and there are some deviating ways, and if he please, he would certainly guide you all aright. He it is who sends down water from the cloud for you, it gives drink, and by it grow the trees upon which you pasture. He causes to grow for you thereby herbage, and the olives, and the palm trees, and the grapes, and of all the fruits. Most surely there is a sign in this for a people who reflect. 
and he has made subservient for you the night and the day, and the sun and the moon, and the stars are made subservient by his commandment, most surely there are signs in this for a people who ponder. And what he has created in the earth of varied hues, most surely there is a sign in this for a people who are mindful. And he it is who has made the sea subservient, that you may eat fresh flesh from it and bring forth from it ornaments which you wear. And you see the ships cleaving through it, and that you might seek of his bounty, and that you may give thanks. And he has caused the great mountains in the earth, lest it might be convulsed with you, and rivers and roads that you may go aright, and landmarks, and by the stars they find the right way. Is he then who creates like him, who does not create, do you not then mind? And if you would count Allah's favors, you will not be able to number them. Most surely Allah is forgiving, merciful, and Allah knows what you conceal and what you do openly. And those whom they call on besides Allah have not created anything while they are themselves created, dead are they not living, and they know not when they shall be raised. Your God is one Allah, so as for those who do not believe in the hereafter, their hearts are ignorant and they are proud. Truly Allah knows what they hide and what they manifest. Surely he does not love the proud. And when it is said to them, What is it that your Lord has revealed? They say, Stories of the ancients, that they may bear their burdens entirely on the day of resurrection, and also of the burdens of those whom they lead astray without knowledge. Now surely evil is what they bear. Those before them did indeed devise plans, but Allah demolished their building from the foundations, so the roof fell down on them from above them, and the punishment came to them from whence they did not perceive. Then on the resurrection day he will bring them to disgrace and say, Where are the associates you gave me? for whose sake you became hostile. Those who are given the knowledge will say, Surely the disgrace and the evil are this day upon the unbelievers, those whom the angels cause to die while they are unjust to themselves. Then would they offer submission? We use not to do any evil. I, surely Allah knows what you did. Therefore enter the gates of hell to abide therein. So certainly evil is the dwelling place of the proud. And it is said to those who guard against evil, What is it that your Lord has revealed? They say, Good. For those who do good in this world is good, and certainly the abode of the hereafter is better. And certainly most excellent is the abode of those who guard against evil. The gardens of perpetuity, they shall enter them, rivers flowing beneath them. They shall have in them what they please. Thus does Allah reward those who guard against evil, those whom the angels cause to die in a good state, saying, Peace be on you. Enter the garden for what you did. They do not wait oath, but that the angels should come to them, or that the commandment of your Lord should come to pass. Thus did those before them, and Allah was not unjust to them, but they were unjust to themselves. 
so the evil consequences of what they did shall afflict them, and that which they mocked shall encompass them. And they who give associates to Allah say, If Allah had pleased, we would not have served anything besides Allah. Neither we nor our fathers nor would we have prohibited anything without order from him. Thus did those before them is then ought incumbent upon the messengers except a plain delivery of the message. And certainly we raised in every nation a messenger saying, Serve Allah and shun the shaitan. So there were some of them whom Allah guided, and there were others against whom error was due. Therefore travel in the land, then see what was the end of the rejecters. If you desire for their guidance, yet surely Allah does not guide him who leads astray, nor shall they have any helpers. And they swear by Allah with the most energetic of their oath, Allah will not raise up him who dies. Yea, it is a promise binding on him, quite true, but most people do not know, so that he might make manifest to them that about which they differ, and that those who disbelieve might know that they were liars. Our word for a thing when we intend it is only that we say to it, be and it is. And those who fly for Allah's sake after they are oppressed, we will most certainly give them a good abode in the world. And the reward of the hereafter is certainly much greater, did they but know. Those who are patient and on their Lord do they rely. And we did not send before you any but men to whom we sent revelation. So ask the followers of the reminder if you do not know. With clear arguments and scriptures, and we have revealed to you the reminder that you may make clear to men what has been revealed to them and that happily they may reflect. Do they then who plan evil deeds feel secure of this, that Allah will not cause the earth to swallow them, or that punishment may not overtake them from whence they do not perceive, or that he may not seize them in the course of their journeys, then shall they not escape or that he may not seize them by causing them to suffer gradual loss. For your Lord is most surely compassionate, merciful. Do they not consider everything that Allah has created, its very shadows return from right and left, making obeisance to Allah while they are in utter abasement? And whatever creature that is in the heavens and that is in the earth makes obeisance to Allah only, and the angels too, and they do not show pride. They fear their Lord above them and do what they are commanded. And Allah has said, Take not two gods, he is only one Allah, so of me alone should you be afraid. And whatever is in the heavens and the earth is his, and to him should obeisance be rendered constantly. Will you then guard against other than the punishment of Allah? And whatever favor is bestowed on you, it is from Allah. Then when evil afflicts you, to him do you cry for aid. Yet when he removes the evil from you, Lo, a party of you associate others with their Lord, so that they be ungrateful for what we have given them. Then enjoy yourselves, for soon will you know. And they set apart for what they do not know 
a portion of what we have given them. By Allah, you shall most certainly be questioned about that which you forged. And they ascribe daughters to Allah. Glory be to him. And for themselves, they would have what they desire. And when a daughter is announced to one of them, his face becomes black and he is full of wrath. He hides himself from the people because of the evil of that which is announced to him. Shall he keep it with disgrace or bury it alive in the dust? Now surely evil is what they judge. For those who do not believe in the hereafter is an evil attribute, and Allah's is the loftiest attribute, and he is the mighty, the wise. And if Allah had destroyed men for their iniquity, he would not leave on the earth a single creature, but he respites them till an appointed time. So when their doom will come, they shall not be able to delay it an hour, nor can they bring it on before its time. And they ascribe to Allah what they themselves hate, and their tongues relate the lie that they shall have the good. There is no avoiding it that for them is the fire, and that they shall be sent before. By Allah, most certainly we sent messengers to nations before you, but the shaitan made their deeds fair seeming to them, so he is their guardian today, and they shall have a painful punishment. And we have not revealed to you the book, except that you may make clear to them that about which they differ, and as a guidance and a mercy for a people who believe. And Allah has sent down water from the cloud and therewith given life to the earth after its death. Most surely there is a sign in this for a people who would listen. And most surely there is a lesson for you in the cattle. We give you to drink of what is in their bellies from betwixt the feces and the blood. Pure milk, easy and agreeable to swallow for those who drink. And of the fruits of the palms and the grapes, you obtain from them intoxication and goodly provision. Most surely there is a sign in this for a people who ponder. And your Lord revealed to the bee, saying, Make hives in the mountains and in the trees and in what they build. Then eat of all the fruits and walk in the ways of your Lord submissively. There comes forth from within it a beverage of many colors in which there is healing for men. Most surely there is a sign in this for a people who reflect. And Allah has created you, then he causes you to die, and of you is he who is brought back to the worst part of life, so that after having knowledge he does not know anything, surely Allah is knowing powerful. And Allah has made some of you excel others in the means of subsistence. So those who are made to excel do not give away their sustenance to those whom their right hands possess so that they should be equal therein. Is it then the favor of Allah which they deny? And Allah has made wives for you from among yourselves and has given you sons and grandchildren from your wives and has given you of the good things, is it then in the falsehood that they believe while it is in the favor of Allah that they disbelieve? And they serve besides Allah that which does not control for them any sustenance at all from the heavens and the earth, nor have they any power 
Therefore, do not give likeness to Allah. Surely, Allah knows and you do not know. Allah sets forth a parable, consider a slave, the property of another who has no power over anything, and one whom we have granted from ourselves a goodly sustenance. So he spends from it secretly and openly. Are the two alike? All praise is due to Allah. Nay, most of them do not know. And Allah sets forth a parable of two men. One of them is dumb, not able to do anything, and he is a burden to his master. Wherever he sends him, he brings no good. Can he be held equal with him who enjoins what is just? And he himself is on the right path. And Allah's is the unseen of the heavens and the earth. And the matter of the hour is but as the twinkling of an eye, or it is higher still. Surely Allah has power over all things. And Allah has brought you forth from the wombs of your mothers. You did not know anything, and he gave you hearing and sight and hearts that you may give thanks. Do they not see the birds constrained in the middle of the sky? None withholds them but Allah. Most surely there are signs in this for a people who believe. And Allah has given you a place to abide in your houses. And he has given you tents of the skins of cattle, which you find light to carry on the day of your march, and on the day of your halting. And of their wool and their fur and their hair, he has given you household stuff and a provision for a time. And Allah has made for you of what he has created shelters. And he has given you in the mountains places of retreat. And he has given you garments to preserve you from the heat and coats of mail to preserve you in your fighting. Even thus does he complete his favor upon you, that haply you may submit. But if they turn back, then on you devolves only the clear deliverance of the message. They recognize the favor of Allah, yet they deny it and most of them are ungrateful. And on the day when we will raise up a witness out of every nation, then shall no permission be given to those who disbelieve, nor shall they be made to solicit favor. And when those who are unjust shall see the chastisement, it shall not be lightened for them nor shall they be respited. And when those who associate others with Allah shall see their associate gods, they shall say, Our Lord, these are our associate gods on whom we called besides thee, but they will give them back the reply, Most surely you are liars. And they shall tender submission to Allah on that day, and what they used to forge shall depart from them. As for those who disbelieve and turn away from Allah's way, we will add chastisement to their chastisement, because they made mischief. And on the day when we will raise up in every people a witness against them, from among themselves, and bring you as a witness against these. And we have revealed the book to you, explaining clearly everything, and a guidance and mercy and good news for those who submit. Surely Allah enjoins the doing of justice and the doing of good to others, and the giving of the kindred, and he forbids indecency and evil and rebellion. He admonishes you that you may be mindful.
and fulfill the covenant of Allah when you have made a covenant and do not break the oath after making them fast. And you have indeed made Allah a surety for you. Surely Allah knows what you do. And be not like her who unravels her yarn, disintegrating it into pieces after she has spun it strongly. You make your oath to be means of deceit between you because one nation is more numerous than another nation. Allah only tries you by this and he will most certainly make clear to you on the resurrection day that about which you differed. And if Allah please, he would certainly make you a single nation, but he causes to err whom he pleases and guides whom he pleases. And most certainly you will be questioned as to what you did. And do not make your oath a means of deceit between you, lest a foot should slip after its stability, and you should taste evil because you turned away from Allah's way, and grievous punishment be your lot. And do not take a small price in exchange for Allah's covenant. Surely what is with Allah is better for you, did you but know? What is with you passes away, and what is with Allah is enduring. And we will most certainly give to those who are patient their reward for the best of what they did. Whoever does good, whether male or female, and he is a believer, we will most certainly make him live a happy life, and we will most certainly give them their reward for the best of what they did. So when you recite the Quran, seek refuge with Allah from the accursed shaitan. Surely he has no authority over those who believe and rely on their Lord. His authority is only over those who befriend him and those who associate others with him. And when we change one communication for another communication and Allah knows best what he reveals, they say, you are only a forger. Nay, most of them do not know. Say, the Holy Spirit has revealed it from your Lord with the truth that it may establish those who believe and as a guidance and good news for those who submit. And certainly we know that they say only a mortal teaches him. The tongue of him whom they reproach is barbarous and this is clear Arabic tongue. As for those who do not believe in Allah's communications, surely Allah will not guide them, and they shall have a painful punishment. Only they forge the lie who do not believe in Allah's communications, and these are the liars. He who disbelieves in Allah after his having believed, not he who is compelled while his heart is at rest on account of faith, but he who opens his breast to disbelief on these is the wrath of Allah, and they shall have a grievous chastisement. This is because they love this world's life more than the hereafter, and because Allah does not guide the unbelieving people. These are they on whose hearts and their hearing and their eyes Allah has set a seal, and these are the heedless ones. No doubt that in the hereafter they will be the losers. Yet surely your Lord, with respect to those who fly after they are persecuted, then they struggle hard and are patient. Most surely your Lord after that is forgiving, merciful. Remember the day when every soul shall come. 
pleading for itself and every soul shall be paid in full what it has done and they shall not be dealt with unjustly and allah sets forth a parable consider a town safe and secure to which its means of subsistence come in abundance from every quarter but it became ungrateful to allah's favors therefore allah made it to taste the utmost degree of hunger and fear because of what they wrote and certainly there came to them a messenger from among them but they rejected him so the punishment overtook them while they were unjust therefore eat of what allah has given you lawful and good things and give thanks for allah's favor if him do you serve he has only forbidden you what dies of itself and blood and flesh of swine and that over which any other name than that of allah has been invoked but whoever is driven to necessity not desiring nor exceeding the limit then surely allah is forgiving merciful and for what your tongues describe do not utter the lie saying this is lawful and this is unlawful in order to forge a lie against allah surely those who forge the lie against allah shall not prosper a little enjoyment and they shall have a painful punishment and for those who were jews we prohibited what we have related to you already and we did them no injustice but they were unjust to themselves yet surely your lord with respect to those who do an evil in ignorance then turn after that and make amends most surely your lord after that is forgiving merciful surely ibrahim was an exemplar obedient to allah upright and he was not of the polytheists grateful for his favors he chose him and guided him on the right path and we gave him good in this world and in the next he will most surely be among the good then we reveal to you follow the faith of ibrahim the upright one and he was not of the polytheists the sabbath was ordained only for those who differed about it and most surely your lord will judge between them on the resurrection day concerning that about which they differed call to the way of your lord with wisdom and goodly exhortation and have disputations with them in the best manner surely your lord best knows those who go astray from his path and he knows best those who follow the right way and if you take your turn then retaliate with the like of that with which you were afflicted but if you are patient it will certainly be best for those who are patient and be patient and your patience is not but by the assistance of allah and grieve not for them and do not distress yourself at what they plan surely allah is with those who guard against evil and those who do good to others end of surah 16surah 17 of the holy quran translated by muhammad habib shakir this librivox recording is in the public domain surah 17 the night journey al isra revealed at mecca in the name of allah the most beneficent the most merciful glory be to him who made his servant to go on a night from the sacred mosque to the remote mosque 
of which we have blessed the precepts so that we may show to him some of our signs. Surely he is the hearing, the seeing. And we gave Musa the book and made it a guidance to the children of Israel, saying, Do not take a protector besides me. The offspring of those whom we bore with Nuh, surely he was a grateful servant. And we had made known to the children of Israel in the book, Most certainly you will make mischief in the land twice, and most certainly you will behave insolently with great insolence. So when the promise for the first of the two came, we sent over you our servants of mighty prowess, so they went to and fro among the houses, and it was a promise to be accomplished. Then we gave you back the turn to prevail against them, and aided you with wealth and children, and made you a numerous band. If you do good, you will do good for your own souls, and if you do evil, it shall be for them. So when the second promise came, we raised another people, that they may bring you to grief, and that they may enter the mosque as they entered it the first time, and that they might destroy whatever they gained ascendancy over with utter destruction. It may be that your Lord will have mercy on you, and if you again return to disobedience, we too will return to punishment, and we have made hell a prison for the unbelievers. Surely this Quran guides to that which is most upright and gives good news to the believers who do good that they shall have a great reward, and that as for those who do not believe in the hereafter, we have prepared for them a painful chastisement. And man prays for evil as he ought to pray for good, and man is ever hasty. And we have made the night and the day two signs. Then we have made the sign of the night to pass away, and we have made the sign of the day manifest so that you may seek grace from your Lord, and that you might know the numbering of years and the reckoning. And we have explained everything with distinctness, and we have made every man's actions to cling to his neck, and we will bring forth to him on the resurrection day a book which he will find wide open. Read your book. Your own self is sufficient as a reckoner against you this day. Whoever goes aright for his own soul, does he go aright. And whoever goes astray to its detriment, only does he go astray. Nor can the bearer of a burden bear the burden of another, nor do we chastise until we raise a messenger. And when we wish to destroy a town, we send our commandment to the people of it, who lead easy lives, but they transgress therein. Thus the word proves true against it. So we destroy it with utter destruction. And how many of the generations did we destroy after Nuh? And your Lord is sufficient as knowing and seeing, with regard to his servants' faults. Whoever desires this present life, we hasten to him therein what we please for whomsoever we desire. 
Then we assign to him the hell. He shall enter it, despised, driven away. And whoever desires the hereafter and strives for it as he ought to strive and he is a believer, as for these, their striving shall surely be accepted. All do we aid, these as well as those, out of the bounty of your Lord, and the bounty of your Lord is not confined. See how we have made some of them to excel others, and certainly the hereafter is much superior in respect of excellence. Do not associate with Allah any other God, lest you sit down despised, neglected. And your Lord has commanded that you shall not serve any but him. And goodness to your parents, if either or both of them reach old age with you. Say not to them so much as ag, nor chide them, and speak to them a generous word. And make yourself submissively gentle to them with compassion. And say, O my Lord, have compassion on them, as they brought me up when I was little. Your Lord knows best what is in your minds. If you are good, then he is surely forgiving to those who turn to him frequently. And give to the near of kin his due, and to the needy, and the wayfarer, and do not squander wastefully. Surely the squanderers are the fellows of the shaitans, and the shaitan is ever ungrateful to his lord. And if you turn away from them to seek mercy from your lord, which you hope for, speak to them a gentle word. And do not make your hand to be shackled to your neck, nor stretch it forth to the utmost limit of its stretching forth, lest you should afterwards sit down blamed, stripped off. Surely your Lord makes plentiful the means of subsistence, for whom he pleases and he straightens them, surely he is ever aware of seeing his servants. And do not kill your children for fear of poverty. We give them sustenance and yourselves too. Surely to kill them is a great wrong. And go not nigh to fornication. Surely it is an indecency and an evil way. And do not kill anyone whom Allah has forbidden, except for a just cause. And whoever is slain unjustly, we have indeed given to his heir authority. So let him not exceed the just limits. In slaying, surely he is aided. And draw not near to the property of the orphan, except in a goodly way, till he attains his maturity and fulfill the promise. Surely every promise shall be questioned about. And give full measure when you measure out, and weigh with the true balance. This is fair and better in the end. And follow not that of which you have not the knowledge, Surely the hearing and the sight and the heart, all of these shall be questioned about that. And do not go about in the land exultingly, for you cannot cut through the earth nor reach the mountains in height. All this, the evil of it, is hateful in the sight of your Lord. This is of what your Lord has revealed to you of wisdom. And do not associate any other God with Allah, lest you should be thrown into hell. 
blamed cast away. What has then your Lord preferred to give you sons and for himself taken daughters from among the angels? Most surely you utter a grievous saying, and certainly we have repeated warnings in this Quran that they may be mindful, but it does not add save to their aversion. Say, if there were with him gods as they say, then certainly they would have been able to seek a way to the Lord of power. Glory be to him, and exalted be he in high exaltation above what they say. The seven heavens declare his glory, and the earth too, and those who are in them, and there is not a single thing but glorifies him with his praise, but you do not understand their glorification. Surely he is forbearing, forgiving. And when you recite the Quran, we place between you and those who do not believe in the hereafter a hidden barrier. And we have placed coverings on their hearts and a heaviness in their ears, lest they understand it. And when you mention your Lord alone in the Quran, they turn their backs in aversion. We know best what they listen to when they listen to you, and when they take counsel secretly, when the unjust say, you follow only a man deprived of reason. See what they liken you to. So they have gone astray and cannot find the way. And they say, What? When we shall have become bones and decayed particles, shall we then certainly be raised up, being a new creation? Say, become stones or iron or some other creature of those which are too hard to receive life in your minds. But they will say, who will return us? Say, who created you at first? Still they will shake their heads at you and say, when will it be? Say, maybe it has drawn nigh. On the day when he will call you forth, then shall you obey him, giving him praise, and you will think that you tarried but a little while, and say to my servants that they speak that which is best. Surely the shaitan sows dissensions among them. Surely the shaitan is an open enemy to man. Your Lord knows you best. He will have mercy on you if he pleases, or he will chastise you if he pleases. And we have not sent you as being in charge of them. And your Lord best knows those who are in the heavens and the earth. And certainly we have made some of the prophets to excel others. And to the wood we gave a scripture. Say, call on those whom you assert besides him, so they shall not control the removal of distress from you nor its transference. Those whom they call upon themselves seek the means of access to their Lord, whoever of them is nearest and they hope for his mercy and fear his chastisement. Surely the chastisement of your Lord is a thing to be cautious of. And there is not a town, but we will destroy it before the day of resurrection, or chastise it with a severe chastisement. This is written in the divine ordinance, and nothing could have hindered us that we should send signs 
except that the ancients rejected them. And we give to Samud the she-camel, a manifest sign, but on her account they did injustice. And we do not send signs but to make men fear. And when we said to you, surely your Lord encompasses men. And we did not make the vision which we showed you, but a trial for men, and the cursed tree in the Quran as well. And we caused them to fear, but it only adds to their great inordinancy. And when we said to the angels, make obeisance to Adam, they made obeisance, but Iblis did it not. He said, Shall I make obeisance to him whom thou hast created of dust? He said, Tell me, is this he whom thou hast honored above me? If thou shouldest respite me to the day of resurrection, I will most certainly cause his progeny to perish except a few. He said, Be gone, for whoever of them will follow you, then surely hell is your recompense, a full recompense. And beguile whomsoever of them you can with your voice and collect against them your forces, riding and on foot, and share with them in wealth and children, and hold out promises to them. And the shaitan makes not promises to them, but to deceive. Surely as for my servants, you have no authority over them, and your Lord is sufficient as a protector. Your Lord is he who speeds the ships for you in the sea, that you may seek of his grace. Surely he is ever merciful to you. And when distress afflicts you in the sea, away go those whom you call on except he. But when he brings you safe to the land, you turn aside, and man is ever ungrateful. What? Do you then feel secure that he will not cause a tract of land to engulf you or send on you a tornado? then you shall not find a protector for yourselves. Or do you feel secure that he will not take you back into it another time? Then send on you a fierce gale, and thus drown you on account of your ungratefulness. Then you shall not find any aider against us in the matter. And surely we have honored the children of Adam, and we carry them in the land and the sea, and we have given them of the good things, and we have made them to excel by an appropriate excellence over most of those whom we have created. Remember the day when we will call every people with their imam. Then whoever is given his book in his right hand, these shall read their book, and they shall not be dealt with a wit unjustly. And whoever is blind in this, he shall also be blind in the hereafter, and more erring from the way. And surely they had purposed to turn you away from that which we have revealed to you that you should forge against us other than that, and then they would certainly have taken you for a friend. And had it not been that we had already established you, you would certainly have been near to incline to them a little. In that case, we would certainly have made you to taste a double punishment in this life and a double punishment after death, then you would not have found any helper against us. And surely they purposed 
to unsettle you from the land that they might expel you from it. And in that case, they will not tarry behind you but a little. This is our course with regard to those of our messengers whom we sent before you. And you shall not find a change in our course. Keep up prayer from the declining of the sun till the darkness of the night and the morning recitation, surely the morning recitation is witnessed. And during a part of the night, pray to Haggad beyond what is incumbent on you. Maybe your Lord will raise you to a position of great glory. And say, my Lord, make me to enter a goodly entering and cause me to go forth a goodly going forth, and grant me from near the power to assist me, and say, The truth has come and the falsehood has vanished. Surely falsehood is a vanishing thing. And we reveal of the Quran that which is a healing and a mercy to the believers, and it adds only to the perdition of the unjust. And when we bestow favor on man, he turns aside and behaves proudly. And when evil afflicts him, he is despairing. Say, everyone acts according to his manner, but your Lord best knows who is best guided in the path. And they ask you about the soul. Say, the soul is one of the commands of my Lord and you are not given oath of knowledge but a little. And if we please, we should certainly take away that which we have revealed to you. Then you would not find for it any protector against us. But on account of mercy from your Lord, surely his grace to you is abundant. See? If men and jinn should combine together to bring the like of this Qur'an, they could not bring the like of it, though some of them were aiders of others. And certainly we have explained for men in this Qur'an every kind of similitude, but most men do not consent to oath, but denying, and they say, we will by no means believe in you until you cause a fountain to gush forth from the earth for us, or you should have a garden of palms and grapes in the midst of which you should cause rivers to flow forth gushing out, or you should cause the heaven to come down upon us in pieces as you think or bring Allah and the angels face to face with us, or you should have a house of gold, or you should ascend into heaven, and we will not believe in your ascending until you bring down to us a book, which we may read. Say, Glory be to my Lord, am I owed but a mortal messenger? And nothing prevented people from believing when the guidance came to them, except that they said, What? Has Allah raised up a mortal to be a messenger? See, had there been in the earth angels walking about as settlers, we would certainly have sent down to them from the heaven an angel as a messenger. See, Allah suffices as a witness between me and you. Surely he is aware of his servants, seeing. And whomsoever Allah guides, he is the follower of the right way. And whomsoever he causes to err, you shall not find for him guardians besides him. And we will gather them together on the day of resurrection, on their faces, blind and dumb and deaf, their abode is hell. Whenever it becomes allayed, we will add to their burning. 
This is the retribution because they disbelieved in our communications and said, What? When we shall have become bones and decayed particles, shall we then indeed be raised up into a new creation? Do they not consider that Allah, who created the heavens and the earth, is able to create their like, and he has appointed for them a doom about which there is no doubt, but the unjust do not consent to oath but denying? Say, if you control the treasures of the mercy of my Lord, then you would withhold them from fear of spending, and man is niggardly. And certainly we gave Musa nine clear signs. So ask the children of Israel when he came to them. Pharaoh said to him, Most surely I deem you, O Musa, to be a man deprived of reason. He said, Truly you know that none but the Lord of the heavens and the earth has sent down these as clear proof, and most surely I believe you, O Pharaoh, to be given over to perdition. So he desired to destroy them out of the earth, but we drowned him and those with him all together. And we said to the Israelites after him, Dwell in the land, and when the promise of the next life shall come to pass, we will bring you both together in judgment. And with truth have we revealed it, and with truth did it come. And we have not sent you but as the giver of good news and as a warner. And it is a Quran which we have revealed in portions so that you may read it to the people by slow degrees. And we have revealed it, revealing in portions. Say, believe in it or believe not. Surely those who are given the knowledge before it fall down on their faces, making obeisance when it is recited to them. And they say, Glory be to our Lord. Most surely the promise of our Lord was to be fulfilled. And they fall down on their faces weeping, and it adds to their humility. Say, Call upon Allah or Call upon the Beneficent Allah, whichever you call upon. He has the best names, and do not utter your prayer with a very raised voice, nor be silent with regard to it, and seek a way between these. And say, all praise is due to Allah, who has not taken a son, and who has not a partner in the kingdom and who has not a helper to save him from disgrace, and proclaim his greatness, magnifying him. End of Surah 17 Surah 18 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 18, The Cave, Al-Kahf, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah, who revealed the book to his servant and did not make in it any crookedness. Rightly directing that he might give warning of severe punishment from him and give good news to the believers who do good that they shall have a goodly reward, staying in it forever, and warn those who say, Allah has taken a son, they have no knowledge of it, nor had their fathers a grievous word, it is 
that comes out of their mouths. They speak nothing but a lie. Then maybe you will kill yourself with grief, sorrowing after them, if they do not believe in this announcement. Surely we have made whatever is on the earth an embellishment for it, so that we may try them as to which of them is best in works. And most surely we will make what is on it bare ground, without herbage. Or do you think that the fellows of the cave and the inscription were of our wonderful signs? When the youth sought refuge in the cave, they said, Our Lord, grant us mercy from thee, and provide for us a right course in our affair. So we prevented them from hearing in the cave for a number of years. Then we raised them up that we might know which of the two parties was best able to compute the time for which they remained. We relate to you their story with the truth. Surely they were youth who believed in their Lord, and we increased them in guidance. And we strengthened their hearts with patience. When they stood up and said, Our Lord is the Lord of the heavens and the earth, we will by no means call upon any God besides him, for then indeed we should have said an extravagant thing. These our people have taken gods besides him. Why do they not produce any clear authority in their support? Who is then more unjust than he who forges a lie against Allah. And when you forsake them and what they worship, save Allah, betake yourselves for refuge to the cave. Your Lord will extend to you largely of his mercy and provide for you a profitable course in your affair. And you might see the sun when it rose decline from their cave towards the right hand, and when it set, leave them behind on the left while they were in a wide space thereof. This is of the signs of Allah. Whomsoever Allah guides, he is the rightly guided one, and whomsoever he causes to err, you shall not find for him any friend to lead him aright. And you might think them awake while they were asleep, and we turned them about to the right and to the left, while their dog lay outstretching its paws at the entrance. If you looked at them, you would certainly turn back from them in flight, and you would certainly be filled with awe because of them. And thus did we rouse them that they might question each other. A speaker among them said, How long have you tarried? They said, We have tarried for a day or a part of a day. Others said, your Lord knows best how long you have tarried. Now send one of you with this silver coin of yours to the city. Then let him see which of them has purest food. So let him bring you provision from it, and let him behave with gentleness, and by no means make your case known to anyone. For surely, if they prevail against you, they would stone you to death or force you back to their religion, 
and then you will never succeed. And thus did we make men to get knowledge of them that they might know that Allah's promise is true, and that as for the hour there is no doubt about it. When they disputed among themselves about their affair and said, Erect an edifice over them. Their Lord best knows them. Those who prevailed in their affair said, We will certainly raise a masjid over them. Some say they are three, the fourth of them being their dog, and others say five, the sixth of them being their dog, making conjectures at what is unknown. And others yet say seven, and the eighth of them is their dog. Say, my Lord best knows their number. None knows them but a few. Therefore contend not in the matter of them, but with an outward contention, and do not question concerning them any of them. And do not say of anything, Surely I will do it tomorrow, unless Allah pleases. And remember your Lord when you forget and say, Maybe my Lord will guide me to a nearer course to the right than this. And they remained in their cave three hundred years, and some add another nine. Say Allah knows best how long they remained. To him are known the unseen things of the heavens and the earth, how clear his sight and how clear his hearing. There is none to be a guardian for them besides him, and he does not make anyone his associate in his judgment." And recite what has been revealed to you of the book of your Lord. There is none who can alter his words, and you shall not find any refuge besides him. And withhold yourself with those who call on their Lord morning and evening, desiring his good will, and let not your eyes pass from them, desiring the beauties of this world's life, and do not follow him whose heart we have made unmindful to our remembrance. And he follows his low desires, and his case is one in which due bounds are exceeded. And say the truth is from your Lord, so let him who please believe, and let him who please disbelieve. Surely we have prepared for the iniquitous a fire, the curtains of which shall encompass them about, and if they cry for water, they shall be given water like molten brass, which will scold their faces, evil the drink and ill the resting place. Surely, as for those who believe and do good, we do not waste the reward of him who does a good work. These it is for whom are gardens of perpetuity beneath which rivers flow. Ornaments shall be given to them, therein of bracelets of gold, and they shall wear green robes, of fine silk and thick silk brocade interwoven with gold, reclining therein on raised couches, excellent their recompense and goodly their resting place, and set forth to them a parable of two men. For one of them we made two gardens of grape vines, and we surrounded them both with palms, and in the midst of them we made corn fields. Both these gardens yielded their fruits, and failed not aught thereof, and we caused a river to gush forth 
in their midst. And he possessed much wealth, so he said to his companion, while he disputed with him, I have greater wealth than you, and am mightier in followers. And he entered his garden while he was unjust to himself. He said, I do not think that this will ever perish, and I do not think the hour will come. And even if I am returned to my Lord, I will most certainly find a returning place better than this. His companion said to him, while disputing with him, Do you disbelieve in him who created you from dust, then from a small seed, then he made you a perfect man? But as for me, he, Allah, is my Lord, and I do not associate anyone with my Lord. And wherefore did you not say when you entered your garden, it is as Allah has pleased, there is no power save in Allah. If you consider me to be inferior to you in wealth and children, then maybe my Lord will give me what is better than your garden and send on it a thunderbolt from heaven so that it shall become even ground without plant. Or its waters should sink down into the ground so that you are unable to find it. And his wealth was destroyed. So he began to wring his hands for what he had spent on it. While it lay having fallen down upon its roofs. And he said, Ah me, with that I had not associated anyone with my Lord. And he had no host to help him besides Allah, nor could he defend himself. Here is protection only Allah's, the true one. He is best in the giving of reward and best in requiting. And set forth to them parable of the life of this world, like water which we send down from the cloud, so the herbage of the earth becomes tangled on account of it. Then it becomes dry, broken into pieces, which the winds scatter, and Allah is the holder of power over all things. Wealth and children are an adornment of the life of this world, and the ever-abiding the good works are better with your Lord in reward and better in expectation. And the day on which we will cause the mountains to pass away and you will see the earth a leveled plain and we will gather them and leave not any one of them behind. And they shall be brought before your Lord standing in ranks. Now certainly you have come to us as we created you at first. Nay, you thought that we had not appointed to you a time of the fulfillment of the promise. And the book shall be placed, then you will see the guilty fearing from what is in it. And they will say, Ah, woe to us, what a book is this. It does not omit a small one nor a great one, but numbers them all. And what they had done, they shall find present there. And your Lord does not deal unjustly with anyone. And when we said to the angels, make obeisance to Adam, they made obeisance, but Iblis did it not. He was of the jinn, so he transgressed the commandment of his Lord. What would you then take him and his offspring for friends rather than me? And they are your enemies. Evil is this change for the unjust. 
I did not make them witnesses of the creation of the heavens and the earth, nor of the creation of their own souls, nor could I take those who lead others astray for aiders. And on the day when he shall say, Call on those whom you considered to be my associates, so they shall call on them, but they shall not answer them, and we will cause a separation between them. And the guilty shall see the fire, then they shall know that they are going to fall into it, and they shall not find a place to which to turn away from it. And certainly we have explained in this Quran every kind of example, and man is most of all given to contention. And nothing prevents men from believing when the guidance comes to them, and from asking forgiveness of their Lord, except that what happened to the ancients should overtake them or that the chastisement should come face to face with them. And we do not send messengers, but as givers of good news and warning. And those who disbelieve make a false contention, that they may render null, thereby the truth, and they take my communications and that with which they are warned for a mockery. And who is more unjust than he who is reminded of the communications of his Lord? Then he turns away from them and forgets what his two hands have sent before. Surely we have placed veils over their hearts, lest they should understand it, and a heaviness in their ears, and if you call them to the guidance, they will not ever follow the right course in that case. And your Lord is forgiving, the Lord of mercy, were he to punish them for what they earn. He would certainly have hastened the chastisement for them. But for them there is an appointed time from which they shall not find a refuge. And as for these towns, we destroyed them when they acted unjustly, and we have appointed a time for their destruction. And when Musa said to his servant, I will not cease until I reach the junction of the two rivers, or I will go on for years. So when they had reached the junction of the two rivers, they forgot their fish, and it took its way into the sea, going away. But when they had gone farther, he said to his servant, Bring to us our morning meal. Certainly we have met with fatigue from this our journey. He said, Did you see when we took refuge on the rock? Then I forgot the fish, and nothing made me forget to speak of it but the shaitan, and it took its way into the river. What a wonder! He said, This is what we sought for, so they returned, retracing their footsteps. Then they found one from among our servants, whom we had granted mercy from us, and whom we had taught knowledge from ourselves. Musa said to him, Shall I follow you on condition that you should teach me right knowledge of what you have been taught? He said, Surely you cannot have patience with me. And how can you have patience in that of which you have not got a comprehensive knowledge? He said, If Allah pleases, you will find me patient, and I shall not disobey you in any matter. He said, If you would follow me, then do not question me about anything 
until I myself speak to you about it. So they went their way until when they embarked in the boat, he made a hole in it. Musa said, have you made a hole in it to drown its inmates? Certainly you have done a grievous thing. He said, did I not say that you will not be able to have patience with me? He said, blame me not for what I forgot. And do not constrain me to a difficult thing in my affair. So they went on until, when they met a boy, he slew him. Musa said, Have you slain an innocent person, otherwise than for manslaughter? Certainly you have done an evil thing. He said, did I not say that you will not be able to have patience with me? He said, if I ask you about anything after this, keep me not in your company. Indeed, you shall have then found an excuse in my case. So they went on until when they came to the people of a town. They asked them for food but they refused to entertain them as guests. Then they found in it a wall which was on the point of falling, so he put it into a right state. Musa said, if you had pleased, you might certainly have taken a recompense for it. He said, this shall be separation between me and you. Now I will inform you of the significance of that with which you could not have patience. As for the boat, it belonged to some poor men who worked on the river, and I wished that I should damage it. And there was behind them a king who seized every boat by force. And as for the boy, his parents were believers, and we feared lest he should make disobedience and ingratitude to come upon them. So we desired that their Lord might give them in his place one better than him in purity and nearer to having compassion. And as for the wall, it belonged to two orphan boys in the city, and there was beneath it a treasure belonging to them. And their father was a righteous man. So your Lord desired that they should attain their maturity and take out their treasure, a mercy from your Lord, and I did not do it of my own accord. This is the significance of that with which you could not have patience. And they ask you about Vilkarnain. Say, I will recite to you an account of him. Surely we established him in the land and granted him means of access to everything. So he followed a course, until when he reached the place where the sun set, he found it going down into a black sea, and found by it a people, we said, O oh, Zilkarnain, either give them a chastisement or do them a benefit. He said, as to him who is unjust, we will chastise him. Then shall he be returned to his Lord, and he will chastise him with an exemplary chastisement. And as for him who believes and does good, he shall have goodly reward, and we will speak to him an easy word of our command. Then he followed another course until when he reached the land of the rising of the sun, he found it rising on a people to whom we had given no shelter from it. Even so, and we had a full knowledge of what he had. Then he followed another course, 
until when he reached a place between the two mountains, he found on that side of them a people who could hardly understand a word. They said, O oh, Zilkarnain, surely Ya'agog and Ma'agog make mischief in the land. Shall we then pay you a tribute on condition that you should raise a barrier between us and them? He said, that in which my Lord has established me is better. Therefore, you only help me with workers. I will make a fortified barrier between you and them. Bring me blocks of iron until when he had filled up the space between the two mountain sides, he said, blow until when he had made it as fire. He said, Bring me molten brass, which I may pour over it. So they were not able to scale it, nor could they make a hole in it. He said, This is a mercy from my Lord, but when the promise of my Lord comes to pass, he will make it level with the ground, and the promise of my Lord is ever true. And on that day, we will leave a part of them in conflict with another part, and the trumpet will be blown, so we will gather them all together, and we will bring forth hell, exposed to view, on that day before the unbelievers. They whose eyes were under a cover from my reminder, and they could not even hear, what do then those who disbelieve think that they can take my servants to be guardians besides me? Surely we have prepared hell for the entertainment of the unbelievers. Say, shall we inform you of the greatest losers in their deeds? These are they whose labor is lost in this world's life and they think that they are well versed in skill of the work of hands. These are they who disbelieve in the communications of their Lord and his meeting, so their deeds become null, and therefore we will not set up a balance for them on the day of resurrection. Thus it is that their recompense is hell, because they disbelieved and held my communications and my messengers in mockery. Surely as for those who believe and do good deeds, their place of entertainment shall be the gardens of paradise. Abiding therein, they shall not desire removal from them. Say, if the sea were ink for the words of my Lord, the sea would surely be consumed before the words of my Lord are exhausted. Though we were to bring the like of that sea to add thereto. Say, I am only a mortal like you. It is revealed to me that your God is one Allah. Therefore, whoever hopes to meet his Lord, he should do good deeds and not join anyone in the service of his Lord. End of Surah 18 Surah 19 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker this LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 19, Mary, Maryam, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Kaf ha ya ayn sad. A mention of the mercy of your Lord to his servant Zechariah. When he called upon his Lord in a low voice, he said, My Lord, surely my bones are weakened 
and my head flares with hoariness. And my Lord, I have never been unsuccessful in my prayer to thee. And surely I fear my cousins after me, and my wife is barren. Therefore grant me from thyself an heir, who should inherit me and inherit from the children of Yaqub, and make him my lord, one in whom thou art well pleased. O Zachariah, surely we give you good news of a boy whose name shall be Yahya. We have not made before anyone his equal. He said, O my lord, when shall I have a son? And my wife is barren. And I myself have reached indeed the extreme degree of old age. He said, So shall it be. Your Lord says it is easy to me, and indeed I created you before when you were nothing. He said, My Lord, give me a sign. He said, Your sign is that you will not be able to speak to the people three nights while in sound health. So he went forth to his people from his place of worship. Then he made known to them that they should glorify Allah morning and evening. O Yahya, take hold of the book with strength, and we granted him wisdom while yet a child and tenderness from us and purity, and he was one who guarded against evil, and dutiful to his parents, and he was not insolent, disobedient, and peace on him on the day he was born, and on the day he dies, and on the day he is raised to life, and mention Maryam, in the book, when she drew aside from her family to an eastern place. So she took a veil to screen herself from them. Then we sent to her our spirit, and there appeared to her a well-made man. She said, Surely I fly for refuge from you to the beneficent Allah. If you are one guarding against evil, he said, I am only a messenger of your Lord, that I will give you a pure boy. She said, When shall I have a boy, and no mortal has yet touched me, nor have I been unchaste? He said, Even so, your Lord says, it is easy to me, and that we may make him a sign to men and a mercy from us, and it is a matter which has been decreed. So she conceived him, then withdrew herself with him to a remote place, and the throes of childbirth compelled her to betake herself to the trunk of a palm tree. She said, Oh, would that I had died before this and had been a thing quite forgotten. Then the child called out to her from beneath her, Grieve not, surely your Lord has made a stream to flow beneath you and shake towards you the trunk of the palm tree, it will drop on you fresh ripe dates. So eat and drink and refresh the eye. Then if you see any mortal, say, Surely I have vowed a fast to the beneficent Allah, so I shall not speak to any man today. And she came to her people with him, carrying him with her. They said, O Maryam, 
Surely you have done a strange thing. O oh, sister of Harun, your father was not a bad man, nor was your mother an unchaste woman. But she pointed to him. They said, How should we speak to one who was a child in the cradle? He said, Surely I am a servant of Allah. He has given me the book and made me a prophet. And he has made me blessed wherever I may be. And he has enjoined on me prayer and poor rate so long as I live. And dutiful to my mother, and he has not made me insolent and blessed and peace on me on the day I was born, and on the day I die, and on the day I am raised to life. Such is Isa, son of Maryam. This is the saying of truth about which they dispute. It beseems not Allah that he should take to himself a son. Glory be to him. When he has decreed a matter, he only says to it, Be, and it is. And surely Allah is my Lord and your Lord. Therefore serve him. This is the right path. But parties from among them disagreed with each other. So woe to those who disbelieve because of presence on a great day. How clearly shall they hear and how clearly shall they see on the day when they come to us, but the unjust this day are in manifest error, and warn them of the day of intense regret, when the matter shall have been decided, and they are now in negligence and they do not believe. Surely we inherit the earth and all those who are on it, and to us they shall be returned. And mention Ibrahim in the book, surely he was a truthful man, a prophet. When he said to his father, O oh my father, why do you worship what neither hears nor sees? nor does it avail you in the least. O oh, my father, truly the knowledge has come to me, which has not come to you. Therefore follow me, I will guide you on a right path. O oh, my father, serve not the shaitan. Surely the shaitan is disobedient to the beneficent Allah. O oh, my father, Surely I fear that a punishment from the beneficent Allah should afflict you so that you should be a friend of the shaitan. He said, Do you dislike my gods, O Ibrahim? If you do not desist, I will certainly revile you and leave me for a time. He said, Peace be on you. I will pray to my Lord to forgive you. Surely he is ever affectionate to me, and I will withdraw from you and what you call on besides Allah, and I will call upon my Lord. Maybe I shall not remain unblessed in calling upon my Lord. So when he withdrew from them and what they worshipped besides Allah, we gave to him Ishaq and Yaqub, and each one of them we made a prophet. And we granted to them of our mercy, and we left behind them a truthful mention of eminence for them. And mention Musa in the book. Surely he was one purified, and he was a messenger, a prophet. And we called to him from the blessed side of the mountain, 
and we made him draw nigh, holding communication with us. And we gave to him out of our mercy his brother Harun, a prophet, and mention Ismail in the book. Surely he was truthful in his promise, and he was a messenger, a prophet. And he enjoined on his family prayer and almsgiving, and was one in whom his Lord was well pleased. And mention Idris in the book. Surely he was a truthful man, a prophet. And we raised him high in heaven. These are they on whom Allah bestowed favors from among the prophets of the seed of Adam and of those whom we carried with Nuh and of the seed of Ibrahim and Israel and of those whom we guided and chose. When the communications of the beneficent Allah were recited to them, they fell down making obeisance and weeping. But there came after them an evil generation who neglected prayers and followed sensual desires, so they will meet perdition except such as repent and believe and do good. These shall enter the garden, and they shall not be dealt with unjustly in any way. The gardens of perpetuity, which the beneficent Allah has promised to his servants while unseen, surely his promise shall come to pass. They shall not hear therein, any vain discourse, but only peace, and they shall have their sustenance therein morning and evening. This is the garden which we cause those of our servants to inherit who guard against evil, and we do not descend but by the command of your Lord. To him belongs whatever is before us, and whatever is behind us, and whatever is between these, and your Lord is not forgetful. The Lord of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them, so serve him and be patient in his service. Do you know anyone equal to him? And says man, What? When I am dead, shall I truly be brought forth alive? Does not man remember that we created him before when he was nothing? So by your Lord, we will most certainly gather them together and the shaitans, then shall we certainly cause them to be present round hell on their knees. Then we will most certainly draw forth from every sect of them him who is most exorbitantly rebellious against the beneficent Allah. Again, we do certainly know best those who deserve most to be burned therein, and there is not one of you but shall come to it. This is an unavoidable decree of your Lord. And we will deliver those who guarded against evil, and we will leave the unjust therein on their knees. And when our clear communications are recited to them, those who disbelieve say to those who believe, which of the two parties is best in abiding, and best in assembly. And how many of the generations have we destroyed before them who were better in respect of goods and outward appearance? Say, as for him who remains in error, the beneficent Allah will surely prolong his length of days until they see what they were threatened with either the punishment or the hour, then they shall know who is in more evil plight and weaker in forces. 
and Allah increases in guidance those who go aright, and ever-abiding good works are with your Lord, best in recompense and best in yielding fruit. Have you then seen him who disbelieves in our communications and says, I shall certainly be given wealth and children? Has he gained knowledge of the unseen or made a covenant with the beneficent Allah? By no means we write down what he says and we will lengthen to him the length of the chastisement, and we will inherit of him what he says, and he shall come to us alone. And they have taken gods besides Allah, that they should be to them a source of strength. By no means they shall soon deny their worshipping them, and they shall be adversaries to them. Do you not see that we have sent the shaitans against the unbelievers, inciting them by incitement? Therefore be not in haste against them. We only number out to them a number of days. The day on which we will gather those who guard against evil, to the beneficent Allah to receive honors. And we will drive the guilty to hell thirsty. They shall not control intercession, save he who has made a covenant with the beneficent Allah. And they say, the beneficent Allah has taken to himself a son. Certainly you have made an abominable assertion. The heavens may almost be rent thereat, and the earth cleave asunder, and the mountains fall down in pieces, that they ascribe a son to the beneficent Allah, and it is not worthy of the beneficent Allah that he should take to himself a son. There is no one in the heavens and the earth but will come to the beneficent Allah as a servant. Certainly he has a comprehensive knowledge of them and he has numbered them a comprehensive numbering. And every one of them will come to him on the day of resurrection alone. Surely as for those who believe and do good deeds, for them will Allah bring about love. So we have only made it easy in your tongue, that you may give good news thereby to those who guard against evil, and warn thereby a vehemently contentious people. And how many a generation have we destroyed before them? Do you see any one of them or hear a sound of them? End of Surah 19 Surah 20 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker this LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 20, Taha, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Taha, we have not revealed the Quran to you that you may be unsuccessful. Nay, it is a reminder to him who fears a revelation from him who created the earth and the high heavens. The beneficent Allah is firm in power. His is what is in the heavens and what is in the earth, and what is between them too, and what is beneath the ground. And if you utter the saying aloud, then surely he knows the secret and what is yet more hidden. Allah, there is no God but He. His are the very best names. 
And has the story of Musa come to you? When he saw fire, he said to his family, Stop, for surely I see a fire. Haply I may bring to you therefrom a life cool, or find a guidance at the fire. So when he came to it, a voice was uttered, O Musa, surely I am your Lord. Therefore, put off your shoes. Surely you are in the sacred valley, Toa. And I have chosen you, so listen to what is revealed. Surely I am Allah. There is no God but I. Therefore, serve me and keep a prayer for my remembrance. Surely the hour is coming. I am about to make it manifest so that every soul may be rewarded as it strives. Therefore let not him who believes not in it and follows his low desires turn you away from it so that you should perish. And what is this in your right hand, O Musa? He said, This is my staff. I recline on it and I beat the leaves with it to make them fall upon my sheep, and I have other uses for it. He said, Cast it down, O Musa. So he cast it down, and lo, it was a serpent running. He said, Take hold of it and fear not. We will restore it to its former state. And press your hand to your side, it shall come out white without evil, another sign, that we may show you of our greater signs. Go to Pharaoh, surely he has exceeded all limits. He said, O oh my Lord, expand my breast for me, and make my affair easy to me and loose the knot from my tongue, that they may understand my word, and give to me an aider from my family, Harun my brother, strengthen my back by him, and associate him with me in my affair, so that we should glorify thee much, and remember thee oft. Surely thou art seeing us. He said, You are indeed granted your petition, O Musa, and certainly we bestowed on you a favor at another time, when we revealed to your mother what was revealed, saying, Put him into a chest, then cast it down into the river. Then the river shall throw him on the shore, there shall take him up one who is an enemy to me and enemy to him, and I cast down upon you love from me, and that you might be brought up before my eyes. When your sister went and said, Shall I direct you to one who will take charge of him? So we brought you back to your mother, that her eye might be cooled and she should not grieve, and you killed a man, then we delivered you from the grief, and we tried you with a severe trying. Then you stayed for years among the people of Majan, then you came hither as ordained, O Musa. And I have chosen you for myself, go you and your brother with my communications, and be not remiss in remembering me. Go both to Pharaoh, surely he has become inordinate. Then speak to him a gentle word, haply he may mind or fear. Both said, O oh, our Lord, surely we fear that he may hasten to do evil to us, or that he may become inordinate. He said, Fear not, surely I am with you both. I do hear and see. So go you both to him and say, 
Surely we are two messengers of your Lord. Therefore send the children of Israel with us and do not torment them. Indeed, we have brought to you a communication from your Lord, and peace is on him who follows the guidance. Surely it has been revealed to us that the chastisement will surely come upon him who rejects and turns back. Pharaoh said, And who is your Lord, O Musa? He said, Our Lord is he who gave to everything its creation, then guided it to its goal. He said, Then what is the state of the former generations? He said, The knowledge thereof is with my Lord in a book. My Lord errs not, nor does he forget. Who made the earth for you an expanse and made for you therein path and sent down water from the cloud? Then thereby we have brought forth many species of various herbs. Eat and pasture your cattle. Most surely there are signs in this for those endowed with understanding. From it we created you, and into it we shall send you back, and from it will we raise you a second time. And truly we showed him our signs, all of them. But he rejected and refused. Said he, Have you come to us that you should turn us out of our land by your magic, O Musa? so we too will produce before you magic like it. Therefore make between us and you an appointment which we should not break, neither we nor you, in a central place. Musa said, Your appointment is the day of the festival, and let the people be gathered together in the early forenoon. So Pharaoh turned his back and settled his plan, then came. Musa said to them, Woe to you! Do not forge a lie against Allah, lest he destroy you by a punishment, and he who forges a lie indeed fails to attain his desire. So they disputed with one another about their affair and kept the discourse a secret. They said, These are most surely two magicians who wish to turn you out from your land by their magic and to take away your best traditions. Therefore settle your plan, then come standing in ranks, and he will prosper indeed this day who overcomes. They said, O Musa, will you cast or shall we be the first who cast down? He said, Nay, cast down. Then lo, their cords and their rods, it was imaged to him on account of their magic as if they were running. So Musa conceived in his mind a fear. We said, Fear not, surely you shall be the uppermost. And cast down what is in your right hand, it shall devour what they have wrought. They have wrought only the plan of a magician, and the magician shall not be successful wheresoever he may come from. And the magicians were cast down making obeisance. They said, We believe in the Lord of Harun and Musa. Pharaoh said, You believe in him before I give you leave? Most surely he is the chief of you, who taught you enchantment. Therefore I will certainly cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides, and I will certainly crucify you on the trunks of the palm trees, and certainly you will come to know which of us is the more severe and the more abiding in chastising. 
They said we do not prefer you to what has come to us of clear arguments. And to he who made us, therefore decide what you are going to decide. You can only decide about this world's life. Surely we believe in our Lord that he may forgive us our sins and the magic to which you compelled us. And Allah is better and more abiding. Whoever comes to his Lord being guilty, for him is surely hell. He shall not die therein, nor shall he live. And whoever comes to him, a believer, and he has done good deeds, indeed, these it is who shall have the high ranks. The gardens of perpetuity, beneath which rivers flow, to abide therein. And this is the reward of him who has purified himself. And certainly we revealed to Musa, saying, Travel by night with my servants, then make for them a dry path in the sea, not fearing to be overtaken, nor being afraid. And Pharaoh followed them with his armies, so there came upon them of the sea that which came upon them. And Pharaoh led astray his people, and he did not guide them aright. O children of Israel, indeed we delivered you from your enemy, and we made a covenant with you on the blessed side of the mountain, and we sent to you the manna and the quails. Eat of the good things we have given you for sustenance, and be not inordinate with respect to them, lest my wrath should be due to you, and to whomsoever my wrath is due, be shall perish indeed. And most surely I am most forgiving to him who repents and believes and does good, then continues to follow the right direction. And what caused you to hasten from your people, O Musa? He said, They are here on my track, and I hasten unto thee, my Lord, that thou mayest be pleased. He said, So surely we have tried your people after you, and the Samaray has led them astray. So Musa returned to his people wrathful, sorrowing, Said he, O my people, did not your Lord promise you a goodly promise? Did then the time seem long to you? Or did you wish that displeasure from your Lord should be due to you, so that you broke your promise to me? They said, We did not break our promise to you of our own accord but we were made to bear the burdens of the ornaments of the people. Then we made a casting of them, and thus did the Samaray suggest. So he brought forth for them a calf, a mere body which had a mooing sound. So they said, This is your God and the God of Musa, but he forgot. What? Could they not see that it did not return to them a reply, and that it did not control any harm or benefit for them? And certainly Harun had said to them before, O oh my people, you are only tried by it, and surely your Lord is the beneficent Allah. Therefore follow me and obey my order. They said, we will by no means cease to keep to its worship until Musa returns to us. Musa said, O Harun, what prevented you when you saw them going astray, so that you did not follow me? Did you then disobey my order? He said, O son of my mother, seize me not by my beard nor by my head, Surely I was afraid lest you should say you have caused a division among the children of Israel 
and not waited for my word. He said, what was then your object, O Samaray? He said, I saw Jibreel what they did not see. So I took a handful of the dust from the footsteps of the messenger. Then I threw it in the casting. Thus did my soul command to me. He said, Begun then. Surely for you it will be in this life to say, Touch me not, and surely there is a threat for you, which shall not be made to fail to you. And look at your God to whose worship you kept so long. We will certainly burn it. Then we will certainly scatter it a wide scattering in the sea. Your God is only Allah. There is no God but he. He comprehends all things in his knowledge. Thus do we relate to you some of the news of what has gone before. And indeed, we have given to you a reminder from ourselves. Whoever turns aside from it, he shall surely bear a burden on the day of resurrection. Abiding in this state, and evil will it be for them to bear on the day of resurrection. On the day when the trumpet shall be blown, and we will gather the guilty blue-eyed on that day. They shall consult together secretly. You did tarry but ten centuries. We know best what they say when the fairest of them in course would say, you tarried but a day. And they ask you about the mountains, say, my Lord will carry them away from the roots. Then leave it a plain, smooth level. You shall not see therein any crookedness or unevenness. On that day they shall follow the inviter. There is no crookedness in him, and the voices shall be low before the beneficent Allah, so that you shall not hear aught but a soft sound. On that day shall no intercession avail except of him whom the beneficent Allah allows and whose word he is pleased with. He knows what is before them and what is behind them, while they do not comprehend it in knowledge. And the faces shall be humble before the living, the self-subsistent Allah, and he who bears iniquity is indeed a failure. And whoever does good works and he is a believer, he shall have no fear of injustice nor of the withholding of his due. And thus have we sent it down an Arabic Quran and have distinctly set forth therein of threats that they may guard against evil or that it may produce a reminder for them. Supremely exalted is therefore Allah, the King, the Truth, and do not make haste with the Quran before its revelation is made complete to you, and say, O my Lord, increase me in knowledge. And certainly we gave a commandment to Adam before, but he forgot, and we did not find in him any determination. And when we said to the angels, make obeisance to Adam, they made obeisance. But Iblis did it not, he refused. So we said, O Adam, this is an enemy to you and to your wife. Therefore, let him not drive you both forth from the garden so that you should be unhappy. Surely it is ordained for you that you shall not be hungry therein nor bare of clothing, and that you shall not be thirsty therein nor shall you feel the heat of the sun. But the shaitan made an evil suggestion to him. He said, O Adam, shall I guide you to the tree of immortality and a kingdom which decays not? 
Then they both ate of it, so their evil inclinations became manifest to them, and they both began to cover themselves with leaves of the garden. And Adam disobeyed his Lord, so his life became evil to him. Then his Lord chose him, so he turned to him and guided him. He said, Get forth you two therefrom, all of you, one of you is enemy to another, so there will surely come to you guidance from me. Then whoever follows my guidance, he shall not go astray nor be unhappy. And whoever turns away from my reminder, his shall be a straitened life, and we will raise him on the day of resurrection blind. He shall say, My Lord, why hast thou raised me blind, and I was a seeing one indeed? He will say, Even so, our communications came to you, but you neglected them. Even thus shall you be forsaken this day. And thus do we recompense him who is extravagant and does not believe in the communications of his Lord. And certainly the chastisement of the hereafter is severer and more lasting. Does it not then direct them aright how many of the generations in whose dwelling places they go about, we destroyed before them. Most surely there are signs in this for those endowed with understanding. And had there not been a word that had already gone forth from your Lord and an appointed term, it would surely have been made to cleave to them. Bear then patiently what they say, and glorify your Lord by the praising of him before the rising of the sun and before its setting. And during hours of the night do also glorify him, and during parts of the day that you may be well pleased. And do not stretch your eyes after that with which we have provided different classes of them, of the splendor of this world's life, that we may thereby try them, and the sustenance given by your Lord is better and more abiding. And enjoin prayer on your followers, and steadily adhere to it. We do not ask you for subsistence, we do give you subsistence. And the good end is for guarding against evil. And they say, why does he not bring to us a sign from his Lord? Has not there come to them a clear evidence of what is in the previous books? And had we destroyed them with chastisement before this, they would certainly have said, O our Lord, why didst thou not send to us a messenger? For then we should have followed thy communications before that we met disgrace and shame. Say, every one of us is awaiting, therefore do await, so you will come to know who is the follower of the even path and who goes aright. End of Surah 20سورة 21 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Sura 21 The Prophets Al-Anbiya Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful Their reckoning has drawn near to men and in heedlessness are they turning aside. There comes not to them a new reminder from their Lord, but they hear it while they sport, their hearts trifling 
and those who are unjust counsel together in secret. He is nothing but a mortal like yourselves. What will you then yield to enchantment while you see? He said, My Lord knows what is spoken in the heaven and the earth, and he is the hearing, the knowing. Nay, say they, medleys of dreams, nay, he has forged it, nay, he is a poet. So let him bring to us a sign as the former prophets were sent with. There did not believe before them any town which we destroyed. Will they then believe? And we did not send before you any but men to whom we sent revelation. So ask the followers of the reminder if you do not know. And we did not make them buddhas not eating the food, and they were not to abide forever. Then we made our promise good to them. So we delivered them and those whom we pleased, and we destroyed the extravagant. Certainly we have revealed to you a book in which is your good remembrance. What? Do you not then understand? And how many a town which was iniquitous did we demolish, and we raised up after it another people? So when they felt our punishment, lo, they began to fly. Do not fly now and come back to what you were made to lead easy lives in and to your dwellings. Happily, you will be questioned. They said, O oh, woe to us, surely we were unjust. And this ceased not to be their cry till we made them cut off extinct. And we did not create the heaven and the earth and what is between them for sport. Had we wished to make a diversion, we would have made it from before ourselves. By no means would we do it. Nay, we cast the truth against the falsehood so that it breaks its head. And lo, it vanishes and woe to you for what you describe. And whoever is in the heavens and the earth is his. And those who are with him are not proud to serve him, nor do they grow weary. They glorify him by night and day. They are never languid. Or have they taken gods from the earth who raise the dead? If there had been in them any gods except Allah, they would both have certainly been in a state of disorder. Therefore, Glory be to Allah, the Lord of the dominion, above what they attribute to him. He cannot be questioned concerning what he does, and they shall be questioned. Or have they taken gods besides him? Say, bring your proof, this is the reminder of those with me and the reminder of those before me. Nay, most of them do not know the truth, so they turn aside. And we did not send before you any messenger, but we revealed to him that there is no God but me, therefore serve me. And they say the beneficent Allah has taken to himself a son. Glory be to him, nay, they are honored servants. They do not precede him in speech and only according to his commandment do they act. He knows what is before them and what is behind them. And they do not intercede except for him whom he approves and for fear of him they tremble. And whoever of them should say, Surely I am a God besides him. Such a one do we recompense with hell. Thus do, 
we recompense the unjust. Do not those who disbelieve see that the heavens and the earth were closed up? But we have opened them, and we have made of water everything living. Will they not then believe? And we have made great mountains in the earth, lest it might be convulsed with them. And we have made in it wide ways that they may follow a right direction. And we have made the heaven a guarded canopy, and yet they turn aside from its science. And he it is who created the night and the day and the sun and the moon. All orbs travel along swiftly in their celestial spheres. And we did not ordain abiding for any mortal before you. What? Then if you die, will they abide? Every soul must taste of death, and we try you by evil and good, by way of probation, and to us you shall be brought back. And when those who disbelieve see you, they do not take you but for one to be scoffed at. Is this he who speaks of your gods? And they are deniers at the mention of the beneficent Allah. Man is created of haste. Now will I show to you my signs, therefore do not ask me to hasten them on. And they say, when will this threat come to pass if you are truthful? Had those who disbelieve but known of the time when they shall not be able to ward off the fire from their faces nor from their backs, nor shall they be helped. Nay, it shall come on them all of a sudden and cause them to become confounded so they shall not have the power to avert it, nor shall they be respited. And certainly messengers before you were scoffed at. Then there befell those of them who scoffed that at which they had scoffed. Say, who guards you by night and by day from the beneficent Allah? Nay, they turn aside at the mention of their Lord. Or have they gods who can defend them against us? They shall not be able to assist themselves, nor shall they be defended from us. Nay, we gave provision to these and their fathers until life was prolonged to them. Do they not then see that we are visiting the land, curtailing it of its sides? Shall they then prevail? Say, I warn you only by revelation. And the deaf do not hear the call whenever they are warned. And if a blast of the chastisement of your Lord were to touch them, they will certainly say, O oh, woe to us, surely we were unjust. And we will set up a just balance on the day of resurrection, so no soul shall be dealt with unjustly in the least. And though there be the weight of a grain of mustard seed, yet will we bring it, and sufficient are we to take account. And certainly we gave to Musa and Harun the forkan and a light and a reminder for those who would guard against evil. For those who fear their Lord in secret and they are fearful of the hour, and this is a blessed reminder which we have revealed, will you then deny it? And certainly we gave to Ibrahim his rectitude before, and we knew him fully well. When he said to his father and his people, What are these images to whose worship you cleave? They said, We found our fathers worshipping them. He said, Certainly you have been both you and your fathers 
in manifest error. They said, have you brought to us the truth or are you one of the triflers? He said, Me, your Lord is the Lord of the heavens and the earth, who brought them into existence, and I am of those who bear witness to this. And by Allah, I will certainly do something against your idols after you go away, turning back. So he broke them into pieces, except the chief of them, that haply they may return to it. They said, Who has done this to our gods? Most surely he is one of the unjust. They said, We heard a youth called Ibrahim speak of them. Said they, Then bring him before the eyes of the people. Perhaps they may bear witness. They said, Have you done this to our gods, O Ibrahim? He said, Surely some doer has done it. The chief of them is this. Therefore ask them if they can speak. Then they turned to themselves and said, Surely you yourselves are the unjust. Then they were made to hang down their heads. Certainly you know that they do not speak. He said, What do you then serve besides Allah? What brings you not any benefit at all, nor does it harm you? Fie on you and on what you serve besides Allah. What do you not then understand? They said, Burn him and help your gods if you are going to do anything. We said, O fire, be a comfort and peace to Ibrahim. And they desired a war on him. But we made them the greatest losers, and we delivered him as well as loot removing them to the land which we had blessed for all people. And we gave him Ishaq and Yaqub, a son's son, and we made them all good. And we made them imams who guided people by our command, and we revealed to them the doing of good and the keeping up of prayer, and the giving of the alms, and us alone did they serve. And as for Lot, we gave him wisdom and knowledge, and we delivered him from the town, which wrought abominations. Surely they were an evil people, transgressors. And we took him into our mercy. Surely he was of the good. And Nuh, when he cried a fourth time, so we answered him and delivered him and his followers from the great calamity. And we helped him against the people who rejected our communications. Surely they were an evil people, so we drowned them all. And the wood and Suleiman, when they gave judgment, concerning the field when the people's sheep pastured therein by night, and we were bearers of witness to their judgment. So we made Suleiman to understand it, and to each one we gave wisdom and knowledge, and we made the mountains and the birds to celebrate our praise with the wood, and we were the doers, and we taught him the making of coats of mail for you, that they might protect you in your wars. Will you then be grateful? And we made subservient to Suleiman the wind blowing violent, pursuing its course by his command to the land which we had blessed, and we are knower of all things. And of the rebellious people, there were those who dived for him and did other work besides that. And we kept guard over them. And Ayub, when he cried to his Lord, saying, Harm has afflicted me, and thou art the most merciful of the merciful. Therefore we responded to him and took off what harm he had. 
and we gave him his family and the like of them with them, a mercy from us and a reminder to the worshippers. And Ismail and Idris and Zilkif, all were of the patient ones, and we caused them to enter into our mercy. Surely they were of the good ones. And Yunus, when he went away in wrath, so he thought that we would not straighten him. So he called out among afflictions, There is no God but thou, glory be to thee, surely I am of those who make themselves to suffer loss. So we responded to him and delivered him from the grief, and thus do we deliver the believers. And Zechariah, when he cried to his Lord, O my Lord, leave me not alone, and thou art the best of inheritors. So we responded to him and gave him Yahya and made his wife fit for him. Surely they used to hasten one with another in deeds of goodness and to call upon us, hoping and fearing, and they were humble before us. And she who guarded her chastity, so we breathed into her of our inspiration and made her and her son a sign for the nations. Surely this Islam is your religion, one religion only, and I am your Lord. Therefore serve me. And they broke their religion into sects between them. To us shall all come back. Therefore whoever shall do of good deeds and he is a believer, there shall be no denying of his exertion. And surely we will write it down for him. And it is binding on a town which we destroy that they shall not return. Even when Gog and Magog are let loose and they shall break forth from every elevated place and the true promise shall draw nigh, then lo, the eyes of those who disbelieved shall be fixedly open. O woe to us! Surely we were in a state of heedlessness. As to this, nay, we were unjust. Surely you and what you worship besides Allah are the firewood of hell. To it you shall come. Had these been gods, they would not have come to it, and all shall abide therein. For them therein shall be groaning, and therein they shall not hear. Surely as for those for whom the good has already gone forth from us, they shall be kept far off from it. They will not hear its faintest sound, and they shall abide in that which their souls long for. The great fearful event shall not grieve them, and the angels shall meet them. This is your day which you were promised. On the day when we will roll up heaven like the rolling up of the scroll for writings, as we originated the first creation, so we shall reproduce it. A promise binding on us, surely we will bring it about. And certainly we wrote in the book after the reminder that as for the land, my righteous servants shall inherit it. Most surely in this is a message to a people who serve. And we have not sent you but as a mercy to the world. Say, it is only revealed to me that your Allah is one Allah. Will you then submit? But if they turn back, say I have given you warning in fairness and I do not know whether what you are threatened with is near or far. Surely he knows what is spoken openly and he knows what you hide. And I do not know if this may be a trial for you 
and a provision till a time. He said, O my Lord, judge thou with truth, and our Lord is the beneficent Allah, whose help is sought against what you ascribe to him. End of Surah 21 Surah 22 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain Surah 22 The Pilgrimage Al-Hajj Revealed at Medina In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful O people Guard against the punishment from your Lord. Surely the violence of the hour is a grievous thing. On the day when you shall see it, every woman giving suck shall quit in confusion what she suckled, and every pregnant woman shall lay down her burden, and you shall see men intoxicated and they shall not be intoxicated, but the chastisement of Allah will be severe. And among men there is he who disputes about Allah without knowledge, and follows every rebellious shaitan. Against him it is written down that whoever takes him for a friend, he shall lead him astray and conduct him to the chastisement of the burning fire. O people, if you are in doubt about the raising, then surely we created you from dust, then from a small seed, then from a clot, then from a lump of flesh, complete in make and incomplete, that we may make clear to you and we cause what we please to stay in the wombs till an appointed time. Then we bring you forth as babies, then that you may attain your maturity. And of you is he who is caused to die, and of you is he who is brought back to the worst part of life, so that after having knowledge he does not know anything, and you see the earth a sterile land, but when we send down on it the water, it stirs and swells and brings forth of every kind a beautiful herbage. This is because Allah is the truth and because he gives life to the dead and because he has power over all things. And because the hour is coming, there is no doubt about it. And because Allah shall raise up those who are in the graves. And among men there is he who disputes about Allah without knowledge, and without guidance, and without an illuminating book, turning away haughtily that he may lead others astray from the way of Allah, for him is disgrace in this world, and on the day of resurrection we will make him taste the punishment of burning. This is due to what your two hands have sent before, and because Allah is not in the least unjust to the servants, and among men is he who serves Allah, standing on the verge, so that if good befalls him, he is satisfied therewith. But if a trial afflicts him, he turns back headlong. He loses this world as well as the hereafter. That is a manifest loss. He calls besides Allah upon that which does not harm him, and that which does not profit him, that is the great straying. He calls upon him whose harm is nearer than his profit. Evil certainly is the guardian, and evil certainly is the associate. 
Surely Allah will cause those who believe and do good deeds to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow. Surely Allah does what he pleases. Whoever thinks that Allah will not assist him in this life and the hereafter, let him stretch a rope to the ceiling, then let him cut it off. Then let him see if his struggle will take away that at which he is enraged. And thus have we revealed it, being clear arguments and because Allah guides whom he intends. Surely those who believe and those who are Jews and the Sabines and the Christians and the Magines and those who associate others with Allah. Surely Allah will decide between them on the day of resurrection. Surely Allah is a witness over all things. Do you not see that Allah is he whom obeys whoever is in the heavens and whoever is in the earth? and the sun and the moon and the stars and the mountains and the trees and the animals and many of the people and many there are against whom chastisement has become necessary and whomsoever allah abases there is none who can make him honorable surely allah does what he pleases these are two adversaries who dispute about their Lord, then as to those who disbelieve, for them are cut out garments of fire. Boiling water shall be poured over their heads. With it shall be melted what is in their bellies, and their skins as well. And for them are whips of iron, Whenever they will desire to go forth from it, from grief they shall be turned back into it, and taste the chastisement of burning. Surely Allah will make those who believe and do good deeds enter gardens beneath which rivers flow. They shall be adorned therein with bracelets of gold and with pearls, and their garments therein shall be of silk, and they are guided to goodly words, and they are guided into the path of the praised one. Surely as for those who disbelieve and hinder men from Allah's way and from the sacred mosque, which we have made equally for all men, for the dweller therein and for the visitor, and whoever shall incline therein to wrong unjustly, we will make him taste of a painful chastisement. And when we assign to Abraham the place of the house, saying, Do not associate with me oath, and purify my house for those who make the circuit, and stand to pray, and bow, and prostrate themselves and proclaim among men the pilgrimage they will come to you on foot and on every lean camel, coming from every remote path, that they may witness advantages for them and mention the name of Allah during stated days over what he has given them of the cattle quadrupeds. Then eat of them and feed the distressed one, the needy. Then let them accomplish their needful acts of shaving and cleansing. And let them fulfill their vows and let them go round the ancient house. That shall be so and whoever respects the sacred ordinance of Allah it is better for him with his Lord, and the cattle are made lawful for you, except that which is recited to you. Therefore avoid the uncleanness of the idols and avoid false words, being upright for Allah, not associating oath with him, 
and whoever associates others with Allah, it is as though he had fallen from on high. Then the birds snatch him away or the wind carries him off to a far distant place. That shall be so, and whoever respects the signs of Allah, this surely is the outcome of the piety of hearts. You have advantages in them till a fixed time. Then their place of sacrifice is the ancient house. And to every nation we appointed acts of devotion that they may mention the name of Allah on what he has given them of the cattle quadrupeds. So your Allah is one Allah. Therefore to him should you submit and give good news to the humble. To those whose hearts tremble when Allah is mentioned and those who are patient under that which afflicts them, and those who keep up prayer and spend benevolently out of what we have given them. And as for the camels, we have made them of the signs of the religion of Allah for you. For you therein is much good. Therefore mention the name of Allah on them as they stand in a row, then when they fall down, eat of them and feed the poor man who is contented and the beggar. Thus have we made them subservient to you, that you may be grateful. There does not reach Allah their flesh nor their blood, but to him is acceptable the guarding against evil on your part. Thus has he made them subservient to you, that you may magnify Allah because he has guided you aright, and give good news to those who do good to others. Surely Allah will defend those who believe. Surely Allah does not love anyone who is unfaithful, ungrateful. Permission to fight is given to those upon whom more is made, because they are oppressed, and most surely Allah is well able to assist them. Those who have been expelled from their homes without a just cause, except that they say, Our Lord is Allah. And had there not been Allah's repelling some people by others, Certainly there would have been pulled down cloisters and churches and synagogues and mosques in which Allah's name is much remembered. And surely Allah will help him who helps his cause. Most surely Allah is a strong, mighty. Those who should we establish them in the land will keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and enjoin good and forbid evil. And Allah's is the end of affairs. And if they reject you, then already before you did the people of Nuh and Aad and Samud reject prophets. And the people of Ibrahim and the people of Lut, as well as those of Madian and Musa too, was rejected but I gave respite to the unbelievers, then did I overtake them. So how severe was my disapproval? So how many a town did we destroy while it was unjust? So it was fallen down upon its roofs. And how many a deserted well and palace raised high? Have they not traveled in the land so that they should have hearts with which to understand or ears with which to hear? For surely it is not the eyes that are blind, but blind are the hearts which are in the breasts. And they ask you to hasten on the punishment, and Allah will by no means fail in his promise." And surely a day with your Lord is as a thousand years of what you number. And how many a town to which I gave respite while it was unjust. 
then I overtook it. And to me is the return. Say, O oh people, I am only a plain warner to you. Then as for those who believe and do good, they shall have forgiveness and an honorable sustenance. And as for those who strive to oppose our communications, they shall be the inmates of the flaming fire. And we did not send before you any messenger or prophet. But when he desired, the shaitan made a suggestion respecting his desire. But Allah annuls that which the shaitan costs. Then does Allah establish his communications and Allah is knowing wise, so that he may make what the shaitan costs a trial for those in whose hearts is disease and those whose hearts are hard and most surely the unjust are in a great opposition and that those who have been given the knowledge may know that it is the truth from your Lord, so they may believe in it, and their hearts may be lowly before it, and most surely Allah is the guide of those who believe into a right path, and those who disbelieve shall not cease to be in doubt concerning it, until the hour overtakes them suddenly, or there comes on them the chastisement of a destructive day. The kingdom on that day shall be Allah's, he will judge between them. So those who believe and do good will be in gardens of bliss. And as for those who disbelieve in and reject our communications, these it is who shall have a disgraceful chastisement. And as for those who fly in Allah's way and are then slain or die, Allah will most certainly grant them a goodly sustenance. And most surely Allah is the best giver of sustenance. He will certainly cause them to enter a place of entrance which they shall be well pleased with, and most surely Allah is knowing, forbearing. That shall be so, and he who retaliates with the like of that with which he has been afflicted, and he has been oppressed, Allah will most certainly aid him. Most surely Allah is pardoning, forgiving. That is because Allah causes the night to enter into the day and causes the day to enter into the night and because Allah is hearing, seeing. That is because Allah is the truth and that what they call upon besides him. That is the falsehood and because Allah is the high, the great. Do you not see that Allah sends down water from the cloud so the earth becomes green? Surely Allah is benignant aware. His is whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is in the earth, and most surely Allah is the self-sufficient, the praise. Do you not see that Allah has made subservient to you? whatsoever is in the earth and the ships running in the sea by his command and he withholds the heaven from falling on the earth except with his permission most surely allah is compassionate merciful to men and he it is who has brought you to life then he will cause you to die then bring you to life again, most surely man is ungrateful. To every nation we appointed acts of devotion which they observe. Therefore they should not dispute with you about the matter and call to your Lord, most surely you are on a right way. And if they contend with you, say Allah best knows what you do. Allah will judge between you on the day of resurrection, respecting that in which you differ. 
Do you not know that Allah knows what is in the heaven and the earth? Surely this is in a book. Surely this is easy to Allah. And they serve besides Allah that for which he has not sent any authority and that of which they have no knowledge. And for the unjust there shall be no helper. And when our clear communications are recited to them, you will find denial on the faces of those who disbelieve. They almost spring upon those who recite to them our communications. Say, shall I inform you of what is worse than this? The fire Allah has promised it to those who disbelieve and how evil the resort. O people, a parable is set forth. Therefore, listen to it. Surely those whom you call upon besides Allah cannot create fly, though they should all gather for it, and should the fly snatch away anything from them, they could not take it back from it. Weak are the invoker and the invoked. They have not estimated Allah with the estimation that is due to him. Most surely Allah is a strong, mighty. Allah chooses messengers from among the angels and from among the men. Surely Allah is hearing, seeing. He knows what is before them and what is behind them. And to Allah are all affairs turned back. O you who believe, bow down and prostrate yourselves and serve your Lord, and do good that you may succeed, and strive hard in the way of Allah, such a striving uh, is due to him. He has chosen you and has not laid upon you an hardship in religion, the faith of your father Ibrahim. He named you Muslims before and in this, that the messenger may be a bearer of witness to you, and you may be bearers of witness to the people. Therefore keep up prayer and pay the poor rate, and hold fast by Allah. He is your guardian. How excellent the guardian and how excellent the helper. End of Surah 22。Surah 23 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 23, the believers, al muminun revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, successful indeed are the believers who are humble in their prayers and who keep aloof from what is vain and who are givers of poor rate and who guard their private parts except before their mates or those whom their right hands possess for they surely are not blamable. But whoever seeks to go beyond that, these are they that exceed the limits, and those who are keepers of their trusts and their covenant, and those who keep a guard on their prayers, these are they who are the heirs, who shall inherit the paradise, they shall abide therein, and certainly we created man of an extract of clay. Then we made him a small seed in a firm resting place. Then we made the seed a clot. Then we made the clot a lump of flesh. Then we made in the lump of flesh bones. Then we clothed the bones with flesh. Then we caused it to grow into another creation, 
So blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. Then after that you will most surely die. Then surely on the day of resurrection you shall be raised. And certainly we made above you seven heavens. And never are we heedless of creation. And we send down water from the cloud according to a measure. Then we cause it to settle in the earth, and most surely we are able to carry it away. Then we cause to grow thereby gardens of palm trees and grapes for you. You have in them many fruits, and from them do you eat. And a tree that grows out of mountain Sinai, which produces oil, and a condiment for those who eat. And most surely there is a lesson for you in the cattle. We make you to drink of what is in their bellies, and you have in them many advantages, and of them you eat. And on them and on the ships you are born. And certainly we sent Nuh to his people, and he said, O oh my people, serve Allah, you have no God other than him. Will you not then guard against evil? And the chiefs of those who disbelieved from among his people said, He is nothing but a mortal like yourselves, who desires that he may have superiority over you. And if Allah had pleased, he could certainly have sent down angels. We have not heard of this among our fathers of yore. He is only a madman, so bear with him for a time. He said, O oh my Lord, help me against their calling me a liar. So we revealed to him, saying, Make the ark before our eyes and according to our revelation. And when our command is given and the valley overflows, take into it of every kind a pair, two and your followers, except those among them against whom the word has gone forth. And do not speak to me in respect of those who are unjust Surely they shall be drowned. And when you are firmly seated, you and those with you in the ark say, All praise is due to Allah, who delivered us from the unjust people. And say, O oh my Lord, cause me to disembark a blessed alighting. And thou art the best to cause to a light. Most surely there are signs in this, and most surely we are ever trying men. Then we raised up after them another generation. So we sent among them a messenger from among them, saying, Serve Allah, you have no God other than him. Will you not then guard against evil? And the chiefs of his people who disbelieved and called the meeting of the hereafter a lie, and whom we had given plenty to enjoy in this world's life, said, This is nothing but a mortal like yourselves, eating of what you eat from, and drinking of what you drink. And if you obey a mortal like yourselves, then most surely you will be losers. What does he threaten you that when you are dead and become dust and bones, that you shall then be brought forth? Far, far is that which you are threatened with. There is naught but our life in this world. We die and we live and we shall not be raised again. He is not but a man who has forged a lie against Allah, and we are not going to believe in him. He said, O oh my Lord, 
help me against their calling me a liar. He said in a little while, they will most certainly be repenting. So the punishment overtook them in justice, and we made them as rubbish. So away with the unjust people. Then we raised after them other generations. No people can hasten on their doom, nor can they postpone it. Then we sent our messengers one after another. Whenever there came to a people their messenger, they called him a liar. So we made some of them follow others, and we made them stories. So away with a people who do not believe. Then we sent Musa and his brother Harun with our communications and a clear authority to Pharaoh and his chiefs. But they behaved haughtily, and they were an insolent people. And they said, What? Shall we believe in two mortals like ourselves while their people serve us? So they rejected them and became of those who were destroyed. And certainly we give Musa the book that they may follow a right direction. And we made the son of Maryam and his mother a sign. And we gave them a shelter on a lofty ground, having meadows and springs. O messengers, eat of the good things and do good. Surely I know what you do. And surely this your religion is one religion, and I am your Lord. Therefore be careful of your duty to me. But they cut off their religion among themselves into sects, each part rejoicing in that which is with them. Therefore leave them in their overwhelming ignorance, till do they think that by what we aid them with of wealth and children, we are hastening to them of good things, nay, they do not perceive. Surely they who from fear of their Lord are cautious, and those who believe in the communications of their Lord, and those who do not associate aught with their Lord, and those who give what they give in alms while their hearts are full of fear, that to their Lord they must return. These hasten to good things, and they are foremost in attaining them. And we do not lay on any soul a burden except to the extent of its ability. And with us is a book which speaks the truth, and they shall not be dealt with unjustly. Nay, their hearts are in overwhelming ignorance, with respect to it, and they have besides this other deeds which they do, until when we overtake those who lead easy lives among them with punishment. Lo, they cry for succor. Cry not for succor this day. Surely you shall not be given help from us. My communications were indeed recited to you, but you used to turn back on your heels. In arrogance, talking nonsense about the Quran, and left him like one telling fables by night. Is it then that they do not ponder over what is said, or is it that there has come to them that which did not come to their fathers of old? Or is it that they have not recognized their messenger so that they deny him? Or do they say there is madness in him? Nay, he has brought them the truth, and most of them are averse from the truth. And should the truth follow their low desires, surely the heavens and the earth and all those who are therein would have perished. 
Nay, we have brought to them their reminder, but from their reminder they turn aside. Or is it that you ask them a recompense, but the recompense of your Lord is best, and he is the best of those who provide sustenance? And most surely you invite them to a right way, and most surely those who do not believe in the hereafter are deviating from the way. And if we show mercy to them and remove the distress they have, they would persist in their inordinacy, blindly wandering on. And already we overtook them with chastisement, but they were not submissive to their Lord, nor do they humble themselves until when we open upon them a door of severe chastisement. Lo, they are in despair at it. And he it is who made for you the ears and the eyes and the hearts. Little is it that you give thanks. And he it is who multiplied you in the earth, and to him you shall be gathered. And he it is who gives life and causes death, and in his control is the alternation of the night and the day. Do you not then understand? Nay, they say the like of what the ancients said. They say what? When we are dead and become dust and bones, shall we then be raised? Certainly we are promised this, and so were our fathers aforetime. This is naught but stories of those of old. Say whose is the earth and whoever is therein. If you know, they will say, Allah's, say will you not then mind? Say who is the Lord of the seven heavens? and the Lord of the mighty dominion, they will say, This is Allah's. Say, Will you not then guard against evil? Say, Who is it in whose hand is the kingdom of all things, and who gives succor? But against him succor is not given, if you do but know. They will say, this is Allah's. Say from whence are you then deceived? Nay, we have brought to them the truth, and most surely they are liars. Never did Allah take to himself a son, and never was there with him any other god. In that case, would each god have certainly taken away what he created, and some of them would certainly have overpowered others. Glory be to Allah above what they describe, the knower of the unseen and the seen. So may he be exalted above what they associate with him. Say, O my Lord, if thou shouldest make me see what they are threatened with, my Lord, then place me not with the unjust, and most surely we are well able to make you see what we threatened them with. Repel evil by what is best. We know best what they describe. And say, O oh my Lord, I seek refuge in thee from the evil suggestions of the shaitans, and I seek refuge in thee, O my Lord, from their presence. Until when death overtakes one of them, he says, Send me back, my Lord, send me back. Haply I may do good in that which I have left. By no means. It is a mere word that he speaks and before them is a barrier until the day they are raised. So when the trumpet is blown, there shall be no ties of relationship between them. 
on that day, nor shall they ask of each other. Then as for him whose good deeds are preponderant, these are the successful. And as for him whose good deeds are light, these are they who shall have lost their souls, abiding in hell. The fire shall scorch their faces, and they therein shall be in severe affliction. Were not my communications recited to you, but you used to reject them, they shall say, O our Lord, our adversity overcame us and we were an erring people. O our Lord, take us out of it, then if we return to evil, surely we shall be unjust. He shall say, Go away into it and speak not to me. Surely there was a party of my servants who said, O oh, our Lord, we believe, so do thou forgive us and have mercy on us, and thou art the best of the merciful ones. But you took them for a mockery until they made you forget my remembrance, and you used to laugh at them. Surely I have rewarded them this day because they were patient that they are the achievers. He will say, How many years did you tarry in the earth? They will say, We tarried a day or part of a day, but ask those who keep account. He will say, You did tarry but a little. Had you but known it? What? Did you then think that we had created you in vain and that you shall not be returned to us? So exalted be Allah, the true king. No God is there but he, the Lord of the honorable dominion. And whoever invokes with Allah another God, he has no proof of this. His reckoning is only with his Lord. Surely the unbelievers shall not be successful, and say, O my Lord, forgive and have mercy, and thou art the best of the merciful ones. End of Surah 23 Surah 24 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 24 The Light and Noor Revealed at Medina In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. This is a chapter which we have revealed and made obligatory and in which we have revealed clear communications that you may be mindful. As for the fornicatress and the fornicator, flog each of them, giving a hundred stripes, and let not pity for them detain you in the matter of obedience to Allah. If you believe in Allah and the last day, and let a party of believers witness their chastisement, the fornicator shall not marry any but a fornicatress or idolatrist, and as for the fornicatress, none shall marry her but a fornicator or an idolater, and it is forbidden to the believers. And those who accuse free women, then do not bring four witnesses, flog them, giving eighty stripes, and do not admit any evidence from them ever, and these it is that are the transgressors. Except those who repent after this and act aright, for surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. And as for those who accuse their wives and have no witnesses except themselves, the evidence of one of these should be taken four times, bearing Allah to witness that he is most surely of the truthful ones. 
and the fifth time that the curse of Allah be on him if he is one of the liars and it shall avert the chastisement from her if she testify four times bearing Allah to witness that he is most surely one of the liars and the fifth time that the wrath of Allah be on her if he is one of the truthful and were it not for Allah's grace upon you and his mercy and that Allah is oft returning to mercy wise surely they who concocted the lie are a party from among you do not regard it an evil to you nay it is good for you every man of them shall have what he has earned of sin and as for him who took upon himself the main part thereof he shall have a grievous chastisement why did not the believing men and the believing women when you heard it think well of their own people and say this is an evident falsehood why did they not bring four witnesses of it but as they have not brought witnesses they are liars before allah and were it not for allah's grace upon you and his mercy in this world and the hereafter a grievous chastisement would certainly have touched you on account of the discourse which you entered into when you received it with your tongues and spoke with your mouth what you had no knowledge of and you deemed it an easy matter while with allah it was grievous and why did you not when you heard it say it does not beseem us that we should talk of it glory be to thee this is a great calumny allah admonishes you that you should not return to the like of it ever again if you are believers and allah makes clear to you the communications and allah is knowing wise surely as for those who love that scandal should circulate respecting those who believe they shall have a grievous chastisement in this world and the hereafter and allah knows while you do not know and were it not for allah's grace on you and his mercy and that allah is compassionate merciful o you who believe do not follow the footsteps of the shaitan and whoever follows the footsteps of the shaitan then surely he bids the doing of indecency and evil and were it not for allah's grace upon you and his mercy not one of you would have ever been pure but allah purifies whom he pleases and allah is hearing knowing and let not those of you who possess grace and abundance swear against giving to the near of kin and the poor and those who have fled in allah's way and they should pardon and turn away do you not love that allah should forgive you and allah is forgiving merciful surely those who accuse chaste believing women unaware of the evil are cursed in this world and the hereafter and they shall have a grievous chastisement on the day when their tongues and their hands and their feet shall bear witness against them as to what they did on that day allah will pay back to them in full their just reward and they shall know that allah is the evident truth unclean things are for unclean ones and unclean ones are for unclean things and the good things are for good ones and the good ones are for good things these are free from what they say they shall have forgiveness and an honorable sustenance o you who believe do not enter houses other than your own houses until you have asked permission and saluted their inmates this is better for you that you may be mindful but if you do not find any one therein 
then do not enter them until permission is given to you and if it is said to you go back then go back this is purer for you and allah is cognizant of what you do it is no sin in you that you enter uninhabited houses wherein you have your necessaries and allah knows what you do openly and what you hide say to the believing men that they cast down their looks and guard their private parts that is purer for them surely allah is aware of what they do and say to the believing women that they cast down their looks and guard their private parts and do not display their ornaments except what appears thereof and let them wear their head coverings over their bosoms and not display their ornaments except to their husbands or their fathers or the fathers of their husbands or their sons or the sons of their husbands or their brothers or their brothers sons or their sisters sons or their women or those whom their right hands possess or the male servants not having need of women or the children who have not attained knowledge of what is hidden of women and let them not strike their feet so that what they hide of their ornaments may be known and turn to allah all of you o believers so that you may be successful and marry those among you who are single and those who are fit among your male slaves and your female slaves if they are needy allah will make them free from want out of his grace and allah is ample giving knowing and let those who do not find the means to marry keep chaste until allah makes them free from want out of his grace and as for those who ask for a writing from among those whom your right hands possess give them the writing if you know any good in them and give them of the wealth of allah which he has given you and do not compel your slave girls to prostitution when they desire to keep chaste in order to seek the frail good of this world's life and whoever compels them then surely after their compulsion allah is forgiving merciful and certainly we have sent to you clear communications and a description of those who have passed away before you and an admonition to those who guard against evil allah is the light of the heavens and the earth a likeness of his light is as a niche in which is a lamp the lamp is in a glass and the glass is as it were a brightly shining star lit from a blessed olive tree neither eastern nor western the oil whereof almost gives light though fire touch it not light upon light allah guides to his light whom he pleases and allah sets forth parables for men and allah is cognizant of all things in houses which allah has permitted to be exalted and that his name may be remembered in them there glorify him therein in the mornings and the evenings men whom neither merchandise nor selling diverts from the remembrance of allah and the keeping up of prayer and the giving of poor rate they fear a day in which the hearts and eyes shall turn about that allah may give them the best reward of what they have done and give them more out of his grace and allah gives sustenance to whom he pleases without measure and as for those who disbelieve their deeds are like the mirage in a desert which the thirsty man deems to be water until when he comes to it he finds it to be naught, and there he finds allah so he pays back to him his reckoning in full and allah is quick in reckoning or like utter darkness in the deep sea there covers it a wave above which is another wave above which is a cloud layers of utter darkness 
one above another. When he holds out his hand, he is almost unable to see it. And to whomsoever Allah does not give light, he has no light. Do you not see that Allah is he whom do glorify all those who are in the heavens and the earth, and the very birds with expanded wings? He knows the prayer of each one and its glorification, and Allah is cognizant of what they do. And Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and to Allah is the eventual coming. Do you not see that Allah drives along the clouds, then gathers them together, then piles them up, so that you see the rain coming forth from their midst? And he sends down of the clouds that are like mountains, wherein is hail, afflicting therewith whom he pleases, and turning it away from whom he pleases. The flash of his lighting almost takes away the sight. Allah turns over the night and the day, more surely there is a lesson in this for those who have sight. And Allah has created from water every living creature. So of them is that which walks upon its belly, and of them is that which walks upon two feet, and of them is that which walks upon four. Allah creates what he pleases. Surely Allah has power over all things. Certainly we have revealed clear communications, and Allah guides whom he pleases to the right way. And they say, We believe in Allah and in the Messenger, and we obey. Then a party of them turn back after this, and these are not believers. And when they are called to Allah, and his messenger, that he may judge between them. Lo, a party of them turn aside, and if the truth be on their side, they come to him quickly obedient. Is there in their hearts a disease, or are they in doubt, or do they fear that Allah and his messenger will act wrongfully towards them? Nay, they themselves are the unjust. The response of the believers when they are invited to Allah and his messenger that he may judge between them is only to say, we hear and we obey, and these it is that are the successful. And he who obeys Allah and his messenger and fears Allah and is careful of his duty to him, these it is that are the achievers. And they swear by Allah with the most energetic of their oath that if you command them, they would certainly go forth. Say, swear not. Reasonable obedience is desired. Surely Allah is aware of what you do. Say, obey Allah and obey the messenger. But if you turn back, then on him rests that which is imposed on him. And on you rests that which is imposed on you. And if you obey him, you are on the right way. And nothing rests on the messenger but clear delivering of the message. Allah has promised to those of you who believe and do good that he will most certainly make them rulers in the earth as he made rulers those before them and that he will most certainly establish for them their religion which he has chosen for them, and that he will most certainly, after their fear, give them security in exchange. They shall serve me, not associating aught with me, and whoever is ungrateful after this, these it is who are the transgressors." and keep up prayer, and pay the poor rate, and obey the messenger, so that mercy may be shown to you. Think not that those who disbelieve shall escape in the earth, and their abode is the fire, and certainly evil is the resort. O you who believe, that those whom your right hands possess, and those of you who have not attained to puberty, Ask permission of you three times 
before the morning prayer and when you put off your clothes at midday in summer and after the prayer of the nightfall these are three times of privacy for you neither is it a sin for you nor for them besides these some of you must go round about waiting upon others thus does allah make clear to you the communications and allah is knowing wise and when the children among you have attained to puberty let them seek permission as those before them sought permission thus does allah make clear to you his communications and allah is knowing wise and as for women advanced in years who do not hope for a marriage it is no sin for them if they put off their clothes without displaying their ornaments and if they restrain themselves it is better for them and allah is hearing knowing there is no blame on the blind man nor is there blame on the lame nor is there blame on the sick nor on yourselves that you eat from your houses or your father's houses or your mother's houses or your brother's houses or your sister's houses or your paternal uncle's houses or your paternal aunt's houses or your maternal uncle's houses or your maternal aunt's houses or what you possess the keys of or your friends houses it is no sin in you that you eat together or separately so when you enter houses greet your people with a salutation from allah blessed and goodly thus does allah make clear to you the communications that you may understand only those are believers who believe in allah and his messenger and when they are with him on a momentous affair they go not away until they have asked his permission surely they who ask your permission are they who believe in allah and his messenger so when they ask your permission for some affair of theirs give permission to whom you please of them and ask forgiveness for them from allah surely allah is forgiving merciful do not hold the messengers calling you among you to be like your calling one to the other allah indeed knows those who steal away from among you concealing themselves therefore let those beware who go against his order lest a trial afflict them or there befall them a painful chastisement now surely allah's is whatever is in the heavens and the earth he knows indeed that to which you are conforming yourselves and on the day on which they are returned to him he will inform them of what they did and allah is cognizant of all things end of surah 24Surah 25 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 25, the standard, Al-Furqan, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, Blessed is he who sent down the Furqan upon his servant that he may be a warner to the nations. He whose is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and who did not take to himself a son and who has no associate in the kingdom and who created everything then ordained for it a measure and they have taken besides him gods who do not create anything while they are themselves created and they control not for themselves any harm or profit and they control not death nor life nor raising the dead to life and those who disbelieve say this is nothing but a lie which he has forged, and other people have helped him at it. 
So indeed, they have done injustice and uttered a falsehood. And they say the stories of the ancients, he has got them written. So these are read out to him morning and evening. See, he has revealed it who knows the secret in the heavens and the earth. Surely he is ever forgiving, merciful. And they say, what is the matter with this messenger? That he eats food and goes about in the markets. Why has not an angel been sent down to him? So that he should have been a warner with him. Or why is not a treasure sent down to him, or he is made to have a garden from which he should eat? And the unjust say, you do not follow any but a man deprived of reason. See what likenesses do they apply to you, so they have gone astray. Therefore they shall not be able to find away. Blessed is he who, if he please, will give you what is better than this gardens beneath which rivers flow, and he will give you palaces. But they reject the hour, and we have prepared a burning fire for him who rejects the hour, when it shall come into their sight from a distant place they shall hear its vehement raging and roaring. And when they are cast into a narrow place in it, bound they shall there call out for destruction. Call not this day for one destruction, but call for destructions many. Say, is this better or the abiding garden which those who guard against evil are promised? that shall be a reward and a resort for them. They shall have therein what they desire abiding in it. It is a promise which it is proper to be prayed for from your Lord. And on the day when he shall gather them and whatever they served besides Allah, he shall say, Was it you who led astray these my servants? Or did they themselves go astray from the path? They shall say, Glory be to thee. It was not beseeming for us that we should take any guardians besides thee. But thou didst make them and their fathers to enjoy until they forsook the reminder, and they were a people in perdition. So they shall indeed give you the lie in what you say. Then you shall not be able to ward off or help. And whoever among you is unjust, we will make him taste a great chastisement. And we have not sent before you any messengers, but they must surely ate food and went about in the markets, and we have made some of you a trial for others. Will you bear patiently? And your Lord is ever seeing. And those who do not hope for our meeting say, Why have not angels been sent down upon us? Or why do we not see our Lord? Now certainly they are too proud of themselves and have revolted in great revolt. On the day when they shall see the angels, there shall be no joy on that day for the guilty, and they shall say it is a forbidden thing totally prohibited, and we will proceed to what they have done of deeds. So we shall render them as scattered floating dust. The dwellers of the garden shall on that day be in a better abiding place and a better resting place. And on the day when the heaven shall burst asunder 
with the clouds and the angels shall be sent down descending in ranks the kingdom on that day shall rightly belong to the beneficent allah and the hard day shall it be for the unbelievers and the day when the unjust one shall bite his hands saying oh would that i had taken away with the messenger oh woe is me would that i had not taken such a one for a friend certainly he led me astray from the reminder after it had come to me and the shaitan fails to aid man and the messenger cried out o my lord surely my people have treated this quran as a forsaken thing and thus have we made for every prophet an enemy from among the sinners and sufficient is your lord as a guide and a helper and those who disbelieve say why has not the quran been revealed to him all at once thus that we may strengthen your heart by it and we have arranged it well in arranging and they shall not bring to you any argument but we have brought to you one with truth and best insignificance as for those who shall be gathered upon their faces to hell they are in a worse plight and straying farther away from the path and certainly we gave musa the book and we appointed with him his brother harun and eder then we said go you both to the people who rejected our communications so we destroyed them with utter destruction and the people of nuh when they rejected the messengers we drowned them and made them a sign for men and we have prepared a painful punishment for the unjust and ad and samud and the dwellers of the ras and many generations between them and to every one we gave examples and every one did we destroy with utter destruction and certainly they have often passed by the town on which was rained an evil rain did they not then see it nay they did not hope to be raised again and when they see you they do not take you for oath but a mockery is this he whom allah has raised to be a messenger he had well nigh led us astray from our gods had we not adhered to them patiently and they will know when they see the punishment who is straying farther off from the path have you seen him who takes his low desires for his god will you then be a protector over him or do you think that most of them do hear or understand they are nothing but as cattle nay they are straying farther off from the path have you not considered the work of your lord how he extends the shade and if he had pleased he would certainly have made it stationary then we have made the sun an indication of it then we take it to ourselves taking little by little and he it is who made the night a covering for you and the sleep a rest and he made the day to rise up again and he it is who sends the winds as good news before his mercy and we send down pure water from the cloud that we may give life thereby to a dead land and give it for drink out of what we have created to cattle and many people and certainly we have repeated this to them that they may be mindful 
but the greater number of men do not consent to aught except denying. And if we had pleased, we would certainly have raised a warner in every town. So do not follow the unbelievers and strive against them, a mighty striving with it. And he it is who has made two seas to flow freely, the one sweet that subdues thirst by its sweetness, and the other salt that burns by its saltness. And between the two he has made a barrier and inviolable obstruction. And he it is who has created man from the water, then he has made for him blood relationship and marriage relationship. And your Lord is powerful, and they serve besides Allah that which neither profits them nor causes them harm. And the unbeliever is a partisan against his Lord. And we have not sent you but as a giver of good news and as a warner. Say, I do not ask you aught in return except that he who will may take the way to his Lord and rely on the ever-living who dies not and celebrate his praise. And sufficient is he as being aware of the faults of his servants who created the heavens and the earth and what is between them in six periods. And he is firmly established on the throne of authority the beneficent Allah, so ask respecting it one aware. And when it is said to them, prostrate to the beneficent Allah, they say, and what is the Allah of beneficence? Shall we prostrate to what you bid us? And it adds to their aversion. Blessed is he who made the constellations in the heavens and made therein a lamp and a shining moon. And he it is who made the night and the day to follow each other for him, who desires to be mindful or desires to be thankful. And the servants of the beneficent Allah are they who walk on the earth in humbleness. And when the ignorant address them, they say, Peace. And they who pass the night prostrating themselves before their Lord and the standing, and they who say, O our Lord, turn away from us the punishment of hell, surely the punishment thereof is a lasting evil. Surely it is an evil abode and evil place to stay. And they who, when they spend, are neither extravagant nor parsimonious, and keep between these the just mean. And they who do not call upon another god with Allah and do not slay the soul, which Allah has forbidden except in the requirements of justice, and who do not commit fornication, and he who does this shall find a requital of sin. The punishment shall be double to him on the day of resurrection, and he shall abide therein in abasement, except him who repents and believes and does a good deed. So these are they of whom Allah changes the evil deeds to good ones, and Allah is forgiving merciful. And whoever repents and does good, he surely turns to Allah a goodly turning. And they who do not bear witness to what is false, and when they pass by what is vain, they pass by nobly. And they who, when reminded of the communications of their Lord, do not fall down thereat, deaf and blind. And they who say, O our Lord, grant us in our wives and our offspring the joy of our eyes, and make us guides to those who guard against evil. 
these shall be rewarded with high places because they were patient and shall be met therein with greetings and salutations abiding therein goodly the abode and the resting place say my lord would not care for you were it not for your prayer but you have indeed rejected the truth so that which shall cleave shall come end of surah 25 Surah 26 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 26, the poets, Ash'ara, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. ta sin mim these are the verses of the book that makes things clear. Perhaps you will kill yourself with grief because they do not believe. If we please, we should send down upon them a sign from the heaven so that their necks should stoop to it. And there does not come to them a new reminder from the beneficent Allah but they turn aside from it. So they have indeed rejected the truth. Therefore, the news of that which they mock shall soon come to them. Do they not see the earth? How many of every noble kind we have caused to grow in it? Most surely there is a sign in that, but most of them will not believe. And most surely your Lord is the mighty, the merciful. And when your Lord called out to Musa, saying, Go to the unjust people, the people of Pharaoh, will they not guard against evil? He said, O oh my Lord, surely I fear that they will reject me. And by breast straightens, and my tongue is not eloquent. Therefore send thou to Harun to help me. And they have a crime against me, therefore I fear that they may slay me. He said, By no means. So go you both with our signs, surely we are with you hearing. Then come to Pharaoh and say, Surely we are the messengers of the Lord of the worlds. Then send with us the children of Israel. Pharaoh said, Did we not bring you up as a child among us? And you tarried among us for many years of your life? And you did that deed of yours which you did? And you are one of the ungrateful. He said, I did it then while I was of those unable to see the right course. So I fled from you when I feared you. Then my Lord granted me wisdom and made me of the messengers. And is it a favor of which you remind me that you have enslaved the children of Israel? Pharaoh said, and what is the Lord of the worlds? He said, The Lord of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them, if you would be sure. Pharaoh said to those around him, Do you not hear? He said, Your Lord and the Lord of your fathers of old. Said he, Most surely your messenger who is sent to you is mad. He said, The Lord of the East and the West, and what is between them, if you understand? Said he, If you will take a God besides me, I will most certainly make you one of the imprisoned. He said, What, even if I bring to you something manifest? Said he, 
Bring it then if you are of the truthful ones. So he cast down his rod, and lo, it was an obvious serpent. And he drew forth his hand, and lo, it appeared white to the onlookers. Pharaoh said to the chiefs around him, Most surely this is a skillful magician who desires to turn you out of your land with his magic. What is it then that you advise? They said, Give him and his brother respite and send heralds into the cities that they should bring to you every skillful magician. So the magicians were gathered together at the appointed time on the fixed day. And it was said to the people, Will you gather together? Happily we may follow the magicians, if they are the vanquishers. And when the magicians came, they said to Pharaoh, Shall we get a reward if we are the vanquishers? He said, Yes, and surely you will then be of those who are made near. Musa said to them, Cast what you are going to cast. So they cast down their cords and their rods and said, By Pharaoh's power we shall most surely be victorious. Then Musa cast down his staff, and lo, it swallowed up the lies they told, and the magicians were thrown down prostrate. They said, We believe in the Lord of the worlds, the Lord of Musa and Harun. Said he, You believe in him before I give you permission? Most surely he is the chief of you who taught you the magic, so you shall know, certainly I will cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides, and certainly I will crucify you all. They said, No harm. Surely to our Lord we go back. Surely we hope that our Lord will forgive us our wrongs because we are the first of the believers. And we revealed to Musa, saying, Go away with my servants traveling by night. Surely you will be pursued. So Pharaoh sent heralds into the cities. Most surely these are a small company, and most surely they have enraged us, and most surely we are a vigilant multitude. So we turned them out of gardens and springs, and treasures and goodly dwellings. Even so, and we gave them as a heritage to the children of Israel. Then they pursued them at sunrise. So when the two hosts saw each other, the companions of Musa cried out, most surely we are being overtaken. He said, By no means, surely my Lord is with me. He will show me a way out. Then we reveal to Musa, Strike the sea with your staff. So it had cloven asunder, and each part was like a huge mound. And we brought near there the others. And we saved Musa and those with him, all of them. Then we drowned the others. Most surely there is a sign in this, but most of them do not believe. And most surely your Lord is the mighty, the merciful. And recite to them the story of Ibrahim. When he said to his father and his people, What do you worship? They said, We worship idols, so we shall be their votaries. He said, Do they hear you when you call, or do they profit you or cause you harm? They said, Nay, we found our fathers doing so. He said, 
have you then considered what you have been worshipping, you and your ancient sires? Surely they are enemies to me, but not so the Lord of the worlds, who created me, then he has shown me the way, and he who gives me to eat and gives me to drink, and when I am sick, then he restores me to health, and he who will cause me to die, then give me life, and who I hope will forgive me my mistakes on the day of judgment. My Lord, grant me wisdom and join me with the good and ordain for me a goodly mansion among posterity and make me of the heirs of the garden of bliss and forgive my father for surely he is of those who have gone astray and disgrace me not on the day when they are raised, the day on which property will not avail, nor sons, except him who comes to Allah with a heart free from evil, and the garden shall be brought near for those who guard against evil, and the hell shall be made manifest to the erring ones, and it shall be said to them, Where are those that you used to worship besides Allah? Can they help you or yet help themselves? So they shall be thrown down into it, they and the erring ones, and the hostess of the shaitan all. They shall say while they contend therein, by Allah, we were certainly in manifest error when we made you equal to the Lord of the worlds, and none but the guilty led us astray. So we have no intercessors, nor a true friend. But if we could but once return, we would be of the believers. Most surely there is a sign in this, but most of them do not believe. And most surely your Lord is the mighty, the merciful. The people of Nuh rejected the messengers. When their brother Nuh said to them, Will you not guard against evil? Surely I am a faithful messenger to you. Therefore guard against the punishment of Allah and obey me. And I do not ask you any reward for it. My reward is only with the Lord of the worlds. So guard against the punishment of Allah and obey me. They said, Shall we believe in you while the meanest follow you? He said, And what knowledge have I of what they do? Their account is only with my Lord if you could perceive, and I am not going to drive away the believers. I am not but a plain warner. They said, If you desist not, O Nuh, you shall most certainly be of those stoned to death. He said, My Lord, surely my people give me the lie. Therefore judge, Thou between me and them with a just judgment, and deliver me and those who are with me of the believers. So we delivered him and those with him in the laden ark. Then we drowned the rest afterwards. Most surely there is a sign in this, but most of them do not believe. And most surely your Lord is the mighty, the merciful. Ad gave the lie to the messengers when their brotherhood said to them, Will you not guard against evil? Surely I am a faithful messenger to you. Therefore guard against the punishment of Allah and obey me. And I do not ask you any reward for it. Surely my reward is only with the Lord of the worlds. 
Do you build on every height a monument? Then is it that you do? And you make strong fortresses that perhaps you may? And when you lay hands on men, you lay hands like tyrants. So guard against the punishment of Allah and obey me. And be careful of your duty to him who has given you abundance of what you know. He has given you abundance of cattle and children and gardens and fountains. Surely I fear for you the chastisement of a grievous day. They said, It is the same to us whether you admonish or are not one of the admonishers. This is not but a custom of the ancients, and we are not going to be punished. So they gave him the lie, then we destroyed them. Most surely there is a sign in this, but most of them do not believe. And most surely your Lord is the mighty, the merciful. Samud gave the lie to the messengers. When their brother Saleh said to them, Will you not guard against evil? Surely I am a faithful messenger to you. Therefore guard against the punishment of Allah and obey me. And I do not ask you any reward for it. My reward is only with the Lord of the worlds. Will you be left secure in what is here, in gardens and fountains, and cornfields and palm trees, having fine spade seas? And you hew houses out of the mountains exultingly. Therefore guard against the punishment of Allah and obey me. And do not obey the biding of the extravagant, who make mischief in the land and do not act aright. They said, you are only of the deluded ones. You are not but a mortal like ourselves. So bring a sign if you are one of the truthful. He said, this is a she-camel. She shall have her portion of water, and you have your portion of water on an appointed time. And do not touch her with evil, lest the punishment of a grievous day should overtake you. But they hamstrung her, then regretted, so the punishment overtook them. Most surely there is a sign in this, but most of them do not believe. And most surely your Lord is the mighty, the merciful. The people of Lut gave the lie to the messengers. When their brother Lut said to them, Will you not guard against evil? Surely I am a faithful messenger to you. Therefore guard against the punishment of Allah and obey me, and I do not ask you any reward for it. My reward is only with the Lord of the worlds. What? Do you come to the males from among the creatures and leave what your Lord has created for you of your wives? Nay, you are a people exceeding limits. They said, if you desist not, O Lord, you shall surely be of those who are expelled. He said, surely I am of those who utterly abhor your doing. My Lord, deliver me and my followers from what they do. So we delivered him and his followers all, except an old woman among those who remained behind. Then we utterly destroyed the others, and we rained down upon them a rain, and evil was the rain on those warned. Most surely there is a sign in this, but most of them do not believe. And most surely your Lord is the mighty, the merciful. The dwellers of the thicket gave the lie to the messengers. When Shu'aib said to them, Will you not guard against evil? 
Surely I am a faithful messenger to you. Therefore guard against the punishment of Allah and obey me. And I do not ask you any reward for it. My reward is only with the Lord of the worlds. Give a full measure and be not of those who diminish. And weigh things with a right balance. And do not wrong men of their things. And do not act corruptly in the earth, making mischief. And guard against the punishment of him who created you and the former nations. They said, you are only of those deluded, and you are not but a mortal like ourselves, and we know you to be certainly of the liars. Therefore cause a portion of the heaven to come down upon us, if you are one of the truthful. He said, my Lord knows best what you do. But they called him a liar, so the punishment of the day of covering overtook them. Surely it was the punishment of a grievous day. Most surely there is a sign in this, but most of them do not believe. And most surely your Lord is mighty, the merciful, and most surely this is a revelation from the Lord of the worlds. The faithful spirit has descended with it upon your heart that you may be of the warners in plain Arabic language. And most surely the same is in the scriptures of the ancients. Is it not a sign to them that the learned men of the Israelites know it? And if we had revealed it to any of the foreigners, so that he should have recited it to them, they would not have believed therein. Thus have we caused it to enter into the hearts of the guilty, they will not believe in it until they see the painful punishment. And it shall come to them all of a sudden, while they shall not perceive. Then they will say, Shall we be respited? What? Do they still seek to hasten on our punishment? Have you then considered if we let them enjoy themselves for years, then there comes to them that with which they are threatened. That which they were made to enjoy shall not avail them. And we did not destroy any town, but it had its warners to remind, and we are never unjust. And the shaitans have not come down with it, and it behoves them not, and they have not the power to do it. Most surely they are far removed from the hearing of it. So call not upon another god with Allah, lest you be of those who are punished. And warn your nearest relations, and be kind to him who follows you of the believers. But if they disobey you, then say, Surely I am clear of what you do, and rely on the mighty, the merciful, who sees you when you stand up, and you're turning over and over among those who prostrate themselves before Allah. Surely he is the hearing, the knowing. Shall I inform you of him upon whom the shaitans descend? They descend upon every lying, sinful one. They incline their ears, and most of them are liars. And as to the poets, those who go astray follow them. Do you not see that they wander about bewildered in every valley? And that they say that which they do not do, except those who believe and do good and remember Allah much, and defend themselves after they are oppressed. And they who act unjustly shall know to what final place of turning they shall turn back. End of Surah 26
Surah 27 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 27, the ants and naml, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, ta Seen. These are the verses of the Quran and the book that makes things clear, a guidance and good news for the believers who keep up prayer and pay the poor rate, and of the hereafter they are sure. As to those who do not believe in the hereafter, we have surely made their deeds fair-seeming to them but they blindly wander on. These are they who shall have an evil punishment, and in the hereafter they shall be the greatest losers. And most surely you are made to receive the Quran from the wise, the knowing Allah. When Musa said to his family, Surely I see fire, I will bring to you from it some news, or I will bring to you therefrom a burning firebrand, so that you may warm yourselves. So when he came to it, a voice was uttered, saying, Blessed is whoever is in the fire and whatever is about it, and glory be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, O Musa, surely I am Allah, the mighty, the wise, and cast down your staff. So when he saw it in motion, as if it were a serpent, he turned back, retreating, and did not return. O Musa, fear not, surely the messengers shall not fear in my presence. Neither he who has been unjust than he does good instead after evil, for surely I am the forgiving, the merciful. And enter your hand into the opening of your bosom. It shall come forth white without evil, among nine signs to Pharaoh and his people. Surely they are a transgressing people. So when our clear signs came to them, they said, This is clear enchantment. And they denied them unjustly and proudly, while their soul had been convinced of them. Consider then how was the end of the mischief makers. And certainly we gave knowledge to the wood and Suleiman, and they both said, Praise be to Allah, who has made us to excel many of his believing servants. And Suleiman was the wood's heir, and he said, O men, we have been taught the language of birds, and we have been given all things. Most surely this is manifest grace. And his host of the jinn and the men and the birds were gathered to him, and they were formed into groups, until when they came to the valley of the Naml, a Namlet said, O Naml, enter your houses, that Suleiman and his hosts may not crush you while they do not know. So he smiled, wondering at her word, and said, My Lord, grant me that I should be grateful for thy favor, which thou hast bestowed on me and on my parents, and that I should do good such as thou art pleased with, and make me enter by thy mercy into thy servants the good ones. And he reviewed the birds, then said, How is it I see not the hoopoe? Or is it that he is of the absentees? I will most certainly punish him with a severe punishment, or kill him, or he shall bring to me a clear plea. 
and he tarried not long then said i comprehend that which you do not comprehend and i have brought to you a sure information from sheba surely i found a woman ruling over them and she has been given abundance and she has a mighty throne i found her and her people adoring the sun instead of allah and the shaitan has made their deeds fair seeming to them and thus turned them from the way so they do not go aright that they do not make obeisance to allah who brings forth what is hidden in the heavens and the earth and knows what you hide and what you make manifest allah there is no god but he he is the lord of mighty power he said we will see whether you have told the truth or whether you are of the liars take this my letter and hand it over to them then turn away from them and see what answer they return she said o oh, chief surely an honorable letter has been delivered to me surely it is from suleiman and surely it is in the name of allah the beneficent the merciful saying exalt not yourselves against me and come to me in submission she said o oh, chiefs give me advice respecting my affair i never decide an affair until you are in my presence they said we are possessors of strength and possessors of mighty prowess and the command is yours therefore see what you will command she said surely the kings when they enter a town ruin it and make the noblest of its people to be low and thus they always do and surely i am going to send a present to them and shall wait to see what answer do the messengers bring back so when he came to suleiman he said what will you help me with wealth but what allah has given me is better than what he has given you nay you are exultant because of your present go back to them so we will most certainly come to them with hosts which they shall have no power to oppose and we will most certainly expel them therefrom in abasement and they shall be in a state of ignominy he said o oh, chiefs which of you can bring to me her throne before they come to me in submission one audacious among the jinn said i will bring it to you before you rise up from your place and most surely i am strong and trusty for it one who had the knowledge of the book said i will bring it to you in the twinkling of an eye then when he saw it settled beside him he said this is of the grace of my lord that he may try me whether i am grateful or ungrateful and whoever is grateful he is grateful only for his own soul and whoever is ungrateful then surely my lord is self-sufficient honored he said alter her throne for her we will see whether she follows the right way or is of those who do not go aright so when she came it was said is your throne like this she said it is as it were the same and we were given the knowledge before it and we were submissive and what she worshipped besides allah prevented her surely she was of an unbelieving people it was said to her enter the palace but when she saw it she deemed it to be a great expanse of water and bared her legs 
He said, surely it is a palace made smooth with glass. She said, my lord, surely I have been unjust to myself, and I submit with Suleiman to Allah, the lord of the worlds. And certainly we sent to Samud their brother, Salih, saying, serve Allah and lo, they became two sects quarreling with each other. He said, O oh my people, why do you seek to hasten on the evil before the good? Why do you not ask forgiveness of Allah, so that you may be dealt with mercifully? They said, We have met with ill luck on account of you, and on account of those with you. He said, The cause of your evil fortune is with Allah. Nay, you are a people who are tried. And there were in the city nine persons who made mischief in the land and did not act aright. They said, Swear to each other by Allah that we will certainly make a sudden attack on him and his family by night. Then we will say to his heir, we did not witness the destruction of his family, and we are most surely truthful. And they planned a plan, and we planned a plan, while they perceived not. See then how was the end of their plan, that we destroyed them and their people, all of them. So those are their houses fallen down because they were unjust. Most surely there is a sign in this for a people who know. And we delivered those who believed and who guarded against evil. And we sent loot when he said to his people, What do you commit in decency while you see? What do you indeed approach men lustfully rather than women? Nay, you are a people who act ignorantly. But the answer of his people was no other except that they said, Turn out Lut's followers from your town. Surely they are a people who would keep pure. But we delivered him and his followers except his wife. We ordained her to be of those who remained behind, and we reigned on them a reign, and evil was the reign of those who had been warned. Say praise be to Allah and peace on his servants whom he has chosen. Is Allah better or what they associate with him? Nay, he who created the heavens and the earth and sent down for you water from the cloud. Then we caused to grow thereby beautiful gardens. It is not possible for you that you should make the trees thereof to grow. Is there a God with Allah? Nay, they are people who deviate. Or who made the earth a resting place? and made in it rivers, and raised on it mountains, and placed between the two seas a barrier, is there a God with Allah? Nay, most of them do not know. Or who answers the distressed one when he calls upon him and removes the evil, and he will make you successors in the earth? Is there a God with Allah? Little is it that you mind, or who guides you in utter darkness of the land and the sea, and who sends the winds as good news before his mercy? Is there a God with Allah, exalted by Allah above what they associate with him, or who originates the creation, then reproduces it? And who gives you sustenance from the heaven and the earth? Is there a God with Allah? Say, bring your proof if you are truthful. Say, no one in the heavens and the earth knows the unseen but Allah, and they do not know when they shall be raised.
Nay, their knowledge respecting the hereafter is slight and hasty. Nay, they are in doubt about it. Nay, they are quite blind to it. And those who disbelieve say, What? When we have become dust and our fathers too, shall we certainly be brought forth? We have certainly been promised this, we and our fathers before. These are naught but stories of the ancients. Say travel in the earth, then see how was the end of the guilty, and grieve not for them, and be not distressed because of what they plan. And they say, when will this threat come to pass, if you are truthful? Say, maybe there may have drawn near to you somewhat of that which you seek to hasten on. And surely your Lord is the Lord of grace to men, but most of them are not grateful, and most surely your Lord knows what their breasts conceal and what they manifest, and there is nothing concealed in the heaven and the earth, but it is in a clear book. Surely this Quran declares to the children of Israel most of what they differ in, and most surely it is a guidance and a mercy for the believers. Surely your Lord will judge between them by his judgment, and he is the mighty, the knowing. Therefore rely on Allah, surely you are on the clear truth. Surely you do not make the dead to hear, and you do not make the deaf to hear, the call when they go back retreating. Nor can you be a guide to the blind out of their error. You cannot make to bear anyone except those who believe in our communications, so they submit. And when the word shall come to pass against them, we shall bring forth for them a creature from the earth that shall wound them because people did not believe in our communications. And on the day when we will gather from every nation, a party from among those who rejected our communications, then they shall be formed into groups. Until when they come, he will say, did you reject my communications while you had no comprehensive knowledge of them, or what was it that you did? And the words shall come to pass against them because they were unjust, so they shall not speak. Do they not consider that we have made the night that they may rest therein, and the day to give light? Most surely there are signs in this for a people who believe. And on the day when the trumpet shall be blown, then those who are in the heavens and those who are in the earth shall be terrified except such as Allah please. And all shall come to him abased. And you see the mountains, you think them to be solid, and they shall pass away as the passing away of the cloud. The handiwork of Allah who has made everything thoroughly. Surely he is aware of what you do. Whoever brings good, he shall have better than it, and they shall be secure from terror on the day. And whoever brings evil, these shall be thrown down on their faces into the fire. Shall you be rewarded for aught except what you did? I am commanded only that I should serve the Lord of this city, who has made it sacred, and his are all things. And I am commanded that I should be of these who submit and that I should recite the Qur'an. Therefore, whoever goes aright, he goes aright for his own soul. And whoever goes astray, then say, I am only one of the warners.
and say, Praise be to Allah. He will show you his signs so that you shall recognize them. Nor is your Lord heedless of what you do. End of Surah 27